stream is starting. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. I had to mute the bike after that for like a solid minute so I can giggle it out. How's it going, I only Labro? Captain Nerd Rage. Bobbert. Gin Fizzes. Rob the Hungry. Champion Beef. Bailey. Paylor's Cat. And everybody else. Hello, hello. Hopefully I'm sounding a little bit better than yesterday. I've repositioned the microphone to be a little bit closer to me, so it should mean a little bit higher audio. I did live next to a fire station before crit error. I did indeed. So fire trucks were a regular, um, a regular guest star on the stream, and I uh, definitely got used to hearing them at all hours. Although you never really, I never like. I, I got used to hearing them, but I never was able to tune them out, so I was always... Duh. <laughs> now I'm too close. Hold on, let me, see, let me turn down a little bit. How about now? Right, Critter? I, I also, I used to, um, back at my parents' place, live, like, a couple hundred meters away from some train tracks. And at some point you do just start, stop hearing them entirely. Like, they, they get totally tuned out. And I thought the same thing would happen for fire trucks, but turns out I can't block out sirens in the same way that I could block out the rumble of a train. So I never stopped hearing it like I thought I would. One of many reasons I'm happy to be gone from the old place. <laughs> you hear me? But only intermittently. Between fa passing fire trucks, yeah. It was it was nice to know that they'd have a quick response time. If anything went awry. Going to Donis Incarnate? No worries, no worries about uh, missing a stream. I missed my I missed my own stream on uh, Tuesday. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, exactly, Alkabinek. They're, they're designed to not be something you can ignore. Um, and it turns out that they work well. <laughs> they work well. Alrighty. So we are live again on Wi-Fi. Broadcasting over the magic powers of laptop. Still operating on trackpad because I was too lazy to get a mouse. <laughs> the honest answer. Too lazy to get a mouse, but you can still play Spire, hopefully. Um, I changed the resolution on Spire from yesterday, so hopefully... Uh, not quite. Cards are still a little bit on the unreadable side, but this is realistically as large as I can go resolution-wise while also being able to read chat, so... I think this is what... Uh, what we can expect our cards to look like. Looks better? Good. Okay. So I'm, I'm glad that there's uh, a higher quality coming through on the on the stream side of things. It's shocking just how much you miss having two monitors when it means something like having to play the game in windowed mode so that I can also have the chat open and visible, right? Normally I would just throw it on the other screen. How many times will Baylor misclick today? Every time. Every single time. Is the answer to that? It will always happen. We had some amazing runs yesterday, by the way. Especially this defect run. Which got Necronomicon, Sneko Eye, started with a Dubu doll, and then decided to add every curse in the game into the deck, 
alongside a Gurya, such that we had 12 points of strength in every fight. And it was amazing. We got really close to beating the heart, not quite. Didn't quite have the block core required. Anti com gas stream here in Weed We Are. The bot is up and running, by the way, too. Uh, it doesn't have the full list of commands, because those are all stored locally. But we do have replacements for a few, and Tom or any other moderators are free to add new commands as they see fit with the knowledge that they are temporary, because they'll be saved to the laptop's hard drive. Well, let's play some Ironclad, shall we? Jump into the action. Not the original Dig Command, it's not. It's a, it is a temporary replacement, and I think you'll find that it is beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, I just started an Ascension 20 Ironclad run. That's not what I meant to do. Well, we're gonna play an A20 run, I guess. I'm gonna roll with this. We'll fix it for the next one. We'll fix it in post. I'm gonna play it like it's an Ascension 15 run, so I imagine it's not gonna last very long. <laughs> We're not on the A20 account, so I'm not gonna stress too hard about my win rate here. I'm just gonna, like, look at the map, find the most aggressive pathing I can think of. Sure looks like... Hitting this double early elite sounds great. Misclicks one! <laughs> yeah, I don't think that counts as a misclick, because it had nothing to do with the trackpad. <laughs> That was me just forgetting. Yeah, give me a boss relic. Fusion hammer, perfect for uh, an aggressive early act one. We got a fourth energy, we can, only, we can no longer smith at rest sites. So the alleged quote-unquote downside of the fusion hammer is that we can't... Uh, or the, the downside of the boss relic swap is that we lose the burning blood, so we don't get health hard back. But now we have to rest, so we get our health back that way. It's gonna be great. Beat some stuff up. Like this? What, what? What is? What? Excuse me? Excuse me. All right. Well, that's the turn one. I think it was. I was in, hanging out in uh, Sneaky Teak's chat last night, and somebody said, um, somebody posted uh, a comment saying. Taking 12 damage due to a bad draw is a sign of respect in Jawworm culture. And so I think I think we just opened opened this run with a traditional Jawworm greeting of taking 12 damage with, with no chance to avoid it. Ooh, wow. Really good cards for a uh, floor one pick here. Because we have a fusion hammer, a clothesline is really, really nice. A 12 damaging block card. Strength gain's always good with spot weakness, and cleave is some good AoE. Who are we fighting? Is that originally bunch downs? I would believe it. I would super believe that. Hmm. We're fighting Guardian, right? I didn't actually look at the boss. <laughs> I scrolled up there, but I didn't actually look. Okay, yes, we're fighting Guardian. It took so long to get up there with the trackpad that I'd forgotten what I was trying to do <laughs> by the time I got there. Hmm. So for Guardian, spot weakness is pretty good. Like, spot weakness would be less of a consideration if we were fighting Slime Boss, because it's not a very good card against the Slime Boss. But against Hexagos or um, Guardian, spot weakness is a good card here. So if I was fighting Slime Boss, I would probably take the Cleave. As it is, I think either the spot weakness or the Clothesline are both fine. I'm gonna take up the, the clothesline. Page up and page down work. Great question. I've never actually scrolled with those. Oh, my laptop keyboard doesn't have page up and page down without, like, pressing two keys at once, so... Rip. <laughs> rip to that attempt. What about the arrow keys? No? Alright. Dig! Ooh, shuriken! Ooh! Shuriken with, uh, fusion hammer. This is really interesting. When we play three attacks in one turn, gain us a point of strength. I dig it. I am happy about this. 
Ooh. We can now become strong. Simply by attacking our foe, which is way, way more doable. Normally a shuriken on ironclad on like floor one doesn't do crap. Doesn't do squat. Because you can so rarely play three attacks, but with the extra one energy, it's way more possible, because you can do like bash strike strike or close line strike strike. These are some interesting cards. Flex is like, okay, maybe. Now we can't upgrade it though. Take any one of these cards bearing in mind that I cannot upgrade it, which probably means I'm skipping here. I don't really like an unupgraded flex with a four energy deck. I don't really like a dual wield that can't be upgraded. I don't really like evolve in a deck that has no statuses and isn't fighting slime boss. I don't think the dual wield is good because of the shuriken. It could be. If we get an anger, it could be. Or any other free attack. Alright, I like a dual wield. <laughs> or a reckless charge? That we could dual wield. Maybe I should have taken the evolve. I think I am much happier with, like, a shrug it off card removal here. Or maybe the combust for more AoE. Combust is pretty good. Against Act 1. It turns out. I think the Searing Blow. With the Fusion Hammer. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. That's the perfect take. Um... Or yeah, or save up in case we find a way to counteract our downside. We are going to this store, right? Yeah, we are. So in that case, I would buy just Shrug It Off. Or just Combust. I do want one of those, too. I think for the Elites we're about to fight, it's got to be just Combust. logic here. Hey, max health. Very good with the fusion hammer. Since we have to rest a lot, anything that makes our resting better becomes pretty good. Okay, really glad I bought that combust. Suck it, Chrono. <laughs> I think it gets your judgment. But the RNG worked out such that retroactively my play looks really good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Even scoring lethal on this nerd. Thanks to Combust. Yeah, imagine dying to Combust because you forgot to use your fire potion. Shut up! <laughs> That's never happened to me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if I was meant to strike there. Would it guarantee a kill? Depends on what we draw here. Nope. <laughs> hey, one out of two ain't bad, as they say, Chrono. Oh, wow. This is a blessed run. Meat on the bone. Our hit points are at or below half after combat. Heal for 12 health. So there's double burning blood back. And some interesting choices here. Limit break with a shuriken. Hummel with a shuriken. Or perfected strike. I just take that limit break and upgrade it. That's fine. Almost the kind of card the dual wield would work really well with. Is the sound weird for the in-game audio? You, I've got the in-game audio playing really, really quietly over my speakers. It shouldn't be coming across on the microphone. So the in-game sound should sound totally normal. The mic will be a little bit different. I'll grab a limit break. I don't know if that was right. But it's so shiny. I had to. Hmm. No, that was definitely wrong. Pummel would have been much better here. 
Gonna take some damage. Come on, close line next turn. Yeah, okay. This is fine. We go bash, strike, strike. Next turn, close line saves our bacon a little bit. And it's okay if we take a crap ton of damage, because taking damage is the route to victory. Or something. Do I dual wield this clothesline? I think I do. Definitely playing clothesline, definitely playing combust. So it's a question of do I make a second clothesline so I have a better chance of drawing it again next turn? Or just play the defend? We'll put him on... 32 health. 27 health, 20, so I need to do 22 damage next turn. Yeah, close line will help guarantee that. Bottled Flame. Choose an attack card to start in your opening hand. <gasps> Armaments! Heck yeah. Doink. <laughs> Yoink to that! Um, that lets us upgrade other cards, which is super exciting. And if I wanted to have something in the opening hand, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing for it to be... Um... Oh god, I just closed Slay the Spire by accident. Whoops! Hey, pretty decent! My intention is to run uh, Ascension 15, but we started on A20 by accident, so I'm currently doing an A20 Ironclad. Well, currently I'm staring at my desktop. Yeah, that one that one was probably track bad based. Joint carriers. Okay, let's try that again. Um, do I want to start with a Lowe's line in the opening hand? Um Maybe? Maybe. I'll do it. Bottle that. Bottling Bash would have been decent as well. How about bottling armaments? Do I want to bottle armaments? No? Not, not over a sapphire key, I don't. Not over a sapphire key, I don't. What if I was meant to dodge that fire, by the way? Did I do three easy pool fights yet? I don't think I did. And I would like to look at more cards, so I'm going to take a uh, fight over an event here. Yeah, this is an easy pull fight. Easy peasy pull fight. Hey, Blue Radley. Yep, no cam for a little bit until I get uh, until I get my desktop PC back up and running. I am currently on my laptop. But I am happy to be here. Pummel Strike is a great card to go with Shuriken. So is a Cleave, to be fair, but I think we want the card draw at the moment. We already have AoE in the form of Combust, and I would really like to be able to more consistently draw the cards required to trigger the Shuriken. The game cannot show you Bottled Tornado if you don't have any powers. Also, um, in a very recent patch, the July 1st patch, they changed the spawn conditions of the Bottled Flame and Bottled Lightning such that these relics can only appear if you have attacks or skills that aren't starter cards. So for example, if the only attacks in your Ironclad deck are Strike and Bash, you cannot spawn the Bottled Flame. You have to have picked up something else worth, uh, worth bottling. Which is kind of cool, I think. Um... I'm just debating if I want the skill potion. Probably not. It's not worth thinking about that hard. Anyway. Hmm. Thoughts. So, I can an armaments clothesline and defend to take no damage and deal 14 damage. But there is another play that I'm considering here, which is armaments, use armaments to upgrade dual wield. Create two extra copies of Clothesline, and then play one copy of uh, Clothesline on one of the sentries. I deal two less damage this turn, I take five more damage, 
but I put two copies of Clothesline into the deck that wouldn't be there otherwise for the second cycle through this fight, and I don't know if that's worth it or not. What's wrong with fire trucks? They're just loud. I'm not saying that uh, they should like stop being loud because <laughs> they are they they are loud for a very important reason. But I'm saying that I'm happy to no longer be near them. Thanks to moving. Um, man, we don't have a lot of damage. We're gonna struggle to kill one of them. Let's do that play. This might be totally wrong, but I think it's crazy enough to work. Just crazy enough to work. We also have a Combust that I definitely forgot about. That will help a lot in this fight. I said I was going to play this like it's A15. You're ch that's true. That's very true. You know what? Make a good point. Um, will you next turn, Mr. Back Sentry? Probably? Might as well give it a shot. Hey, Bart! Always nice to see you drop by. Thanks for saying hello. Right, I'm going to try to kill this one. We're just going to evenly DP DPS them down, which is definitely the correct decision making here. And not, in fact, terrible. Oh, good, I got him. Four months of support. We are extremely Teller impressed. Risk. Thank you so much for those four months tier one support. We did indeed get the notifications working again. Awesome. Awesome. Greatly appreciate that continued council funding, and in return, enjoy your continued mug sense of superiority. I did leave- I did used to live near a fire department. That's right. It's a nice thing to li like... I would live near-ish one again, like the, the sense of security you get from it is nice, but... I don't know. It was a lot. Set up meat on the bone? Oh well. The Courier says the merchant is cheaper and restocks. Very convenient to get right before we go to one. And we're offered a rupture or a body slam or a searing blow. That first relic is the fusion hammer. Gives us a fourth energy every turn, but means we can no longer upgrade stuff at rest sites. Tragically. So rupture is a good way to get our strength going. It's a thing we can duplicate with dual wield. Ooh, I'm probably already sold. Yeah. So is body slam though. This is not a body slam deck right now. Give me that rupture. Womp womp. <laughs> That's alright, this is a pretty good store anyway. We've got a flame barrier, we've got a headbutt. There's an inflame. Probably want this inflame. Like, because we added this limit break, we want to add a diverse set of strength gaining cards into the deck from here. Every deck is a body slam deck. Aim into that. That's a corruption. Hmm. Corruption, you say? Think of the sadistic nature champ belt synergy. The possibilities are endless. Think of the sadistic nature dual wield synergy. Think of it. I don't think we want that, uh... Corruption. I want this flame barrier. And that's it? That's it. Maybe a headbutt? Definitely a headbutt. We actually don't mind bloating the deck with cards because we can't upgrade anyway, so we're not like diluting our upgrades, which is one of the reasons it can be bad to add a lot of um, cards to your deck too quickly, is you end up devaluing the upgrades that you're adding. So it is totally okay. I think we upgrade the Pubble Strike? I want to draw into block here. Actually, no I don't. I want to take this damage for Meat on the Bone. Excuse me. Never mind. Never heck in mind. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. It also increases your hand variance, possibly. Um, although when your deck is still as comprised of strikes and defends as ours is, it kind of decreases it. I don't know. Maybe that's not true. Second in flame seems like a lot. That pummel is getting a lot more attractive now. I'm definitely thinking about ghostly armor. This is one of the few blocks Ironclad has that's like really Excellent good at blocking work, when, Commander. without an upgrade. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. Major Shriek, thank you so much for those two months council support. Get the bread. Get the bread. Thanks so much. Congrats. I will get the bread and the ghostly bread. And you know what? I'm gonna recall here. We are well ahead of the amount of health we need to be Guardian with this deck. So I am not concerned whatsoever. Get my Shuriken proc on turn one, thanks. That is one short of a transform, are you kidding me? <laughs> Excuse me? Do I just tank the hit? I might be fine, quite honestly. I might be fine. Yeah, let's just... Let's be full greed. Keeping that potion. Full greed. Um, hmm. Let me upgrade the bash. Do I also duplicate bash? Heck yeah. Boink. Taking damage is the path to victory, as a wise man once said. Man was heckin' wise. It would be nice to have a flame barrier next turn. Uh, let me break first. Clothesline take 12, but we're doing so much damage already. Should be I. Actually, wait, can I just transform you? 18 plus 18? Yeah, that's 36. Excuse me. That's way better. Always check for lethal. Or lethal equivalents. Upgraded flame barrier. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Got him. Uh, don't got him. Don't got him. Or bash. Let's go. Triple bash. Alright, having not used the potion and recalled before the fight, we have BM'd Guardian as hard as possible. So good job, us. Exhume Barricade of Bludgeon. I can exhume Limit Break? Hmm. Interesting. Barricade is, like, almost okay. It's possible that we're about to end up with 5 energy after this boss relic. And that would mean that we... can use the barricade pretty well, because we're just playing every card in the hand every turn. Bludgeon would also be good, for the same reason. Hmm. Sneko is an energy- Sneko would get super hard taken here. There's ten- ten different reasons this deck would love a Sneko eye. I'll take a barricade. And with it, I'll take an Essence of Steel. Let's see if I end up regretting that. Joker is actually totally fine. 
Um, gain energy at the start of your turn, you cannot play more than six cards a turn. I am also... Kind of okay with a black star. Elites drop an extra relic when defeated. I think given that I took a barricade, I want the choker. And we just, like, play all the expensive cards every single turn. Or a white bee statue. Always get a potion after combat rewards. A15 black star. <laughs> like, we're okay against Act 2 elites. I don't think we're good enough without another energy. I'm gonna take a choker here. Let's choke it up. Try not to choke the run. There's there's an actual synergy between the fusion hammer and the black star, though, right? Like you want to be fighting elites aggressively anyway. We're we're going to fight three elites this act, plain and simple, because we have to rest at fires. So we we want to be trading our health for relics to actually get something impactful done here. And yet it's so much safer with the choker. <laughs> Funny how that works out. My money. And I want it now. We draw first and then evaluate. Two. Close line, defend, defend. Boy, look at that. Incredibly effective expenditure of energy. guy? Almost certainly not, right? Almost certainly not. <laughs> I'm forced to go to 6 energy next act? I believe it. I believe it. Hey GDK! Hope you're having a good one. Carnage Plus? Uh, yeah. I would like that. That is a 28 damage for 2 energy attack. That's Excellent just what work, this deck Commander. needs. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. Okay, thank you so much for those three heckin' months. Council support. Enjoy your new blue defect energy badge and your heightened smug sense of superiority for supporting the stream. Means a good deal. I'm gonna use my essence of steel here. Prevent hopefully damage over the course of this fight. Yeah, that feels like it was a good decision. Um taking 20, I can block for potentially 13 plus 7, so I'm taking damage no matter what here. Wasting our meat on the bone value. I know, right? Meat is gonna get spoil. Spoiling our meat. Rhyme. Also, in retrospect, plated armor against birds is not very effective, is it? Oh well. Nerd bird. Kill you. Yes. Oops, dude. Second. Actually, a heavy blade is kind of nuts, right? Going that. Heck no, I'm fighting these guys. You kidding me? This is where we use our explosive potion. Guaranteed. Right here. Right now. Bear no. Actually, do I just murder pointy? I think I just murder pointy. Grab him. I mean, if you want to, you are free to embrace the consequences of that decision. 
Lorp. Romeo handily sets up meat on the bone for us and then dies miserably. Alright, good fight. Got ourselves a red mask. Start a combat, apply one week to all enemies. And if we would like one, we can get a copy of Feel No Pain. How many things do we have that actually exhaust? Not currently that many. Limit Break, maybe Carnage, maybe Ghostly Armor, Ascender's Bane. Such a good card, though. I don't think it's ever legal to refuse this, especially when you have a barricade. Now, Metallicize is a decent way to scale up our block, as is uh, Shrug It Off is just really good right now, too. I'm definitely taking a Shrug. Two different Intimidates <laughs> available for purchase. Okay. That's interesting. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. <laughs> Floggy. Yeah, we're we're playing um this is not supposed to be an Ascension 20 run, but it is now. The next one will be A15. This one's just gonna be played like it's Ascension 15. As you can see by the deck, it's kind of a hot mess. It's gotten way further than it had any right to, that's for sure. Um, do we take out a strike or defend? I think we take out a strike. Panache Choker, it does! We get to play exactly enough cards, pretty much. Um, actually, the red mask with a bottle of clothesline is really good. Eat. The snack. Boop the snack. Give that snack a boopsin. Or perhaps get boopsed. Oh. our barricade. It is not helpful, unfortunately. I imagine we'll be saying that a lot. <laughs> about the barricade. For full disclosure. Take a second armaments. I think I'd rather have a pommel strike. Anything that draws a card right now is just top tier. Alright, Elite. 37 health for triple slavers. Turn one barricade. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> That's perfect. Totally perfect. Nothing wrong with that at all. Might have meant, been meant to play the clothesline over the flame barrier there. Definitely feels like it was correct. But jokes on these nerds, I have dual wield combust. And I'm gonna be vulnerable next turn. I think we might be dead. <laughs> hmm. Who feels like that might be the case? This would be what? 666? Six, six, six. Cannot kill the red slaver here. Not sure I would have even with the close line last turn. Five health? Five is plenty of health, right? The requisite amount of health I always want to have. Hmm. I choose to kill the middle slayer. I can. Take that, fool! 
Rip. Rip. In pieces. Well, we can definitively say that the Black Star would have been worse than the Choker, because <laughs> we never actually got to feed an Elite. Um, things that went wrong here, probably the Barricade take was a poor choice. Um, the Field of Pain wasn't doing a whole lot for us either. This was... I stand by that, like, this would have been great later, but... Both of these would have been great later, but they penalized us so much in the now that we couldn't make it. We're going to switch over to A15 now. It was my intent from the beginning to do some Ascension 15. I don't know why that was set to 20, actually. Oh, I know why. Because I synced my cloud files. So it reset my last plate ascension to 20 instead of 15. That's why I got confused. That makes sense. Alrighty. Silence up next in our rotation. Let's hop in into it. Another try. Let's see any fun things we could do with the snipe. I could potentially get a Burning Elite for free off Niao's Lament. Enemies in our next three combats have one health. Um, in general, this Act 1 looks loaded! Holy moly! Tons of fires. And Elites if we want them. Well, what is this? Three fires and four in one Elite, just the back half of the Act here. And then in the front half we can take another two Elites and one Fire. Whoa, that's strong! That is crazy strong. Cool. So we're taking this far left path then, because it hits three elites and four campfires. Um, and curse for 12 max hit points is so not worth it. Oh, that's a good point, Kono. I think White Beast Statue would have been pretty powerful. So our guaranteed power pick would be the probably the neutralize upgrade if we wanted to take that route. Four elites? We're fighting three, not four, right? Or is there a four elite path up the No, there's there's only three elites. But still when we want a power boost. Taking the neutralize upgrade is probably the way to go. Or the boss relic swap, honestly, would also be fine. And we're on Ascension 15, so I'm going to click Boss Relic on Silent. So, I, I do this option on Silent so so rarely these days that I think I should be taking advantage of the opportunity to, uh, to do some Boss Relic Silent starts. But I know there's a few of you out there that love to watch these, so this is for you. This is for you. First key gives us a fourth energy to work with. So it means we're taking a curse any time we open a chest. I'm gonna call this, uh, not my favorite thing to start with. <laughs> Full curse key value. Now, if we get a Dubu doll, that'd be something special. Or a Darkstone Periap, actually. That's what I really want to see. I want to see a Darkstone Periap happen to this run. I think that'd be the coolest thing. I totally forgot I had four energy, by the way, for the first several turns of this fight. Strength potion makes us ooh, makes us uh, a lot better against elites. Given that we already have four energy, Predator looks real good. Fifteen damage, draw two extra cards next turn. Let's us spend energy effectively on two different turns. The turn we draw it and the turn after we draw it. This is a great card for high energy silent, especially early on. Super taking it. Much better than the sneaky strike. We could turn that predator back into a, a relic. Or I can give up the strength potion or gold. Hmm. I want to get a relic here. We're not pathing through a shop, so I think in theory the 84 gold is the best use. But I'm greedy, and this is Ascension 15, so I'm going to lose the Strength Potion. 
We're going to get a frozen egg. Any powers we get from now on are upgraded. I might regret trading the, the potion, by the way. That totally might happen. But I choose to believe that because we have four energy and a predator, we're strong enough already that it's not going to matter. My story and I'm sticking to it. The early egg is so nice. Like, any copy of, uh... Any copy of tools the trade we find will be upgraded. The value. The value. Hmm. Four energy skewer is pretty tempting. As a way to deal a lot of physical damage with just one card. Poison stab is also fine as a front-loaded damage source. On 4 energy, I think an outmaneuver is just way too fancy. Outmaneuver because nobody takes the card, yeah. It's, uh, it's a fancy-ass card for a situation where we don't want fancy cards yet. Take a skewer. Upgraded Hello World. Now you're talking. Now you're talking my language, Chrono. Skewered nerd. Open with a traditional Jawworm greeting. Take some damage. I guess I, I could have, in theory, used the Flex Potion to save 9 health there, but I really don't think that would have been worthwhile. Do I just take an Acrobatics? Off of 4 energy, card draw is really nice. Could take a Bane or a Slice, but both are pretty mediocre attacks. We don't have any poison, and we have 4 energy, so I'm not that excited by a Slice. Go Acro. Uh, we had all three of our easy pool fights, so we take an event and then two elites. It could be okay against the hard pool fights. What's in the event that I really care about? Like, lots of good events in Act 1? Lots of good events in Act 1. Yeah, like this one. Perfect. Perfect. Lightning Balloon will probably take a chunk out of me. That's alright. I wonder if that was my steroid potion. Could have done 25 damage with it. That was probably my steroid potion. But maybe we don't need to use it. Block. Actually, I think I take two to deal six here. Probably wiser against a Lego villain. Just as 40 damage, so next turn I'm being asked to do... Well, I guaranteed have lethal next turn with a Steroid Potion, so we'll see if it's necessary. Um, do I trade five damage for two card draws, though? See, that would put it on 23. What are my abilities? What what draws would let me do 23 next turn? Skewer would do it. Um, does Predator Strike Strike to 23 next turn? It would be 13 plus 8. 21. Otherwise, we'll only do 1. Okay, so we skewer. Hand Powered Rock. <laughs> yeah, I have to crank this thing for every, every 20 minutes I play. Okay, we're currently 1 damage short. Oh, this is Ascension 15. I was calculating with minus two strength. Last turn. Whoops! Oh. I still didn't draw a lethal, so... We have to use a Seri Potion to prevent this damage. Start each combat with one extra energy. And an expertise, maybe. Draw cards until we have six in our hand. That helps make up for the lack of starting relic we have. Putting some extra card draw on the deck is always good. And I don't want a Bane or a thingy. We our best damage cards. Hey, Vex War! Life is going great. Strim is going great. I'm happy to be here. Everything is wonderful. Except for this turn one. Um, hopefully we somehow magically draw 31 damage next turn.
Please do respect the moderators in chat, by the way. It's not a... They're not... Here to make things less fun. Um, the, the, the entire goal of having... Having standards for what's in chat is to make the, the stream a place where we can all together and have fun. Uh, and that does mean being respectful. Hello! Being respectful of things that could be disrespectful or uncomfortable for some to talk about. But please don't talk back to my mods! If they, if they tell you, or if they ask you to refrain from something in particular. They've got a good reason for doing it, and I back them up 100%. Like think some upgraded fumes. True. <laughs> I hear, I hear if you would like, uh, if you would like looter streams, you can find them at twitch.tv slash ginfizzes. Did you know that our local mod gin streams? And he's a cutie. <laughs> Look at that chest. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. It's another chest. <laughs> There's a chest inside a chest. There's another smaller box. I mean, with a peace pipe, we can just remove these curses pretty effortlessly. Which is really nice. So we, we, we can immediately toke the heck out of this. So do we then, do we then take the tiny chest as a dare <laughs> to the game to give me more curses? This would, I think, under normal circumstances, this is like 100% the, the sapphire key. I think it's actively bad to take the tiny chest, and that's why I'm going to take it <laughs> just to flex on the game. The, the tiny chest wants to give you more curses, and I say, welcome aboard. Curses. I can just tilt you. <laughs> uh, we're fighting this elite. Let's go. Hmm. Sure is a decent looking explosive potion. It's actually not necessary though. Because we can actually we can only take five damage if we don't use it. So it's only a five hit point potion. It's probably worth more against triple sentries. Yeah, it's gonna be worth more triple sentries. Here we go. Junk. Take our five and the fight's over. Easy peasy every time. Dubudal is a rare relic. We are not likely to see it, but if we do, it'd be super puggers. Ooh, speaking of super puggers, leg sweep on uh, four energy already with the Kursky leg sweep is just top tier, right? Top, the topest of tiers. Do I upgrade said leg sweep? Probably. I would like that to be an upgraded card. And then I'll probably start taking strikes pretty shortly here. Guaranteed spawn if you have two or more curses, or guaranteed spawn if you have no curses. Unlikely to spawn if you have lots of curses. That sounds like the game. Definitely sounds like the game I know. Leg sweep, also known as the good half of first leg sweep. <laughs> 
second Predator? Backstab is one of the reasons I stopped swapping the starter relic on Silent, by the way. If you have four energy and no Ring of the Snake, Backstab is suddenly, like, the worst card in the game. Taking up an, an opening of your five hand slots and being a free card means you probably just can't spend all your energy on turn one. Especially with the Lantern, like, this is really bad as a card. But I think I take a second Predator. Hey, Bubble Guy! You're not too, too late. Man, that's a good turn one skewer, hey? Get him. Five backstab bag of marbles. You spin... A very beautiful image, Chrono. Bag of prep. There's a shorter relic back. So now we can take a backstab if we want one. Go to combat, draw two extra cards. And that's a footwork plus, which says gain three decks. Which is really good. I mean, there's also a catalyst, which is pretty good. That's like, it's a footwork plus. You take that, right? You just take that. And then I think we can get away with toking a strike here. I think we can get away with toking a strike here. 12 hit points should be enough to beat Hexaghost. Especially with an upgraded footwork in play. I think our damage is fine. There is a small chance that I actually just die next turn, because we'll be attacked for exactly 12 damage. So that's fun. Oh good, we didn't die. <laughs> we didn't die! I wonder if I was meant to expertise there. No, I was not. is a little low. I think we got him. I think with our four energy and our double predator nonsense, and this fumes plus, we should get a kill before the first inferno. Or before the inferno. Whatever you want to call that. Spend, especially, and we can spend so much of our energy on offense every turn. Thanks to all this card draw. Look at this. Every turn, Predator. Return Predator. Um, how close are we to getting an actual kill here? Let's see, you have 11 poison, so you're at 38. Next turn you're gonna have 13 poison, so that's actually at... I need to do 25 more damage to get a kill. So if I... draw Predator or Skewer and play the Strike, we have a kill. The other option was to leg sweep so that the Hexagos would be weakened for this Inferno turn, but I think we just got a kill here. Yeah. Got a kill. No problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Upgraded powers. Oh man, this frozen egg. Doing some work. Doing some work. <laughs> Misclicks on end turn. Probably. A thousand guns plus is really good AoE. Which we would not mind one bit. We could afford the energy to play it too. After image on four energy, equally good. For different reasons. So it's really I think it's this is just a question of do we want more block or do we want more damage?
This deck could... I would like some more AoE. For, like, Collector. I think a thousand cuts here. Ooh. The options are Empty Cage, remove two cards from the deck. Philo Stone, gain an energy at the start of your turn, but all enemies start combat with one strength. Or the Black Star. Elites drop an extra relic when defeated. I like the idea of the, the Black Star. With that thousand cuts, I feel very comfortable against most of the Act 2 Elites. Our worst matchup is Book of Stabbing? That's not even that bad of a matchup. Yeah. I don't... I don't... I, this deck can definitely use 5 energy and use it well. Philostone's not that bad. We have so much card draw thanks to Expertise, 2 Predators, and an Acrobatics, and a Skewer. Like, we can use that energy. But, we'll, but I really like the idea of getting double Relics off Elites. I think this is more fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, maximum number of elites. Let's go. It's gonna be... Two. Apparently. Huh. Hello? Elites? Hello? This looks like an act- this looks like an Ascension Zero layout. I probably want to go these two elites. Means I have to give up a fire if I want to go to a store. Or I could go with these two elites. Which is still giving up a fire. No, wait, that doesn't get me to store. Yeah, so I have, to, I have to give up a fire if I want to go to a store, and with 420 gold, I do want to go to a store. Just, yeah, just get flying boots out of the chest. There's going to be a chest right here with, with tiny chest. It's going to give me a curse and a wing boots. It's going to go great. Hey, buddy, you got no money. Teehee. I'm also using skill potion turn one here. Corpse Explosion, heck yeah. It's a great card in this fight. It's a beautiful, wonderful card. Probably. Stop hurting me though. Gosh. Aggro. Unmitigated aggro. Give me that money back. Well laid plans plus. The end of turn retain up to two cards. And I have so much card draw, it's really easy to get that in play. Like, uh, yeah. Super happening. Caltrops Plus is kind of fun, too, but there's, there's no way I can take it over a Well-Aid Plans Plus. Just, this, it feels criminal to do that. Quite frankly. Yeah, Egg doing heckin' work. Order, by the way. Lantern doing heckin' amount of work, too. Deck just gets better and better. Oh no, I have to click on two cards every turn with the trackpad? Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to do that. That sounds terrible. <laughs> oh man. We're asking for that one too.
If I thought about bringing my mouse with me, I have thought about it. Eventually I'll move on to doing it, but, but today's not the day. Not today. Thought about taking damage. <laughs> Lying on the sofa upside down. Is that a thing people do? That's amazing. Oh, it's it's just stored in a box that I haven't bothered to retrieve it from yet. There's sheer laziness. I have the ability to go get it. I just didn't. That's on me. You'd think it would be easier to, to get it than to stream off the trackpad for hours. But try telling that to my brain. Okay, we're really... What? Another one? Do I want another one? Maybe? Not yet. Maybe eventually. Yeah, it does let us build our own runic pyramid, which is hella cool. We don't actually have a reason to build our own runic, runic pyramid yet. Do I want to click on four cards every- oh, good question. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm out of here. Well played. No, I don't. We go for the Spheric Guardian first here. Explosive potion. Um, this is one short of a kill. Lame. Acro plus. I'm just gonna yoink that. I don't even think we needed it, but I wanted it. There was a lot of desire. Yeah, do I just, like, attempt to get a store question mark so we get an extra fire? Let's try it. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You always come to the wrong neighborhood. Get them out of here. Bear on Ascension 15 only takes us takes two dexterity away from us. This is a store where we can spend all of our money to not die. <laughs> what a store does, right? Alright, can I take one of them out this turn? My predator skewer. I can kill pointy. But only pointy. And I really ought to kill either Romeo or Bear here. So maybe this is my steroid potion. We have plenty of time to get more potions for before the elites come around. Extortion. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I can't leg sweep if I want to kill also. Just like a little bit of damage short. 
do this. turn is just ugly. Playing a thousand cuts, am I? Need to deal 26 damage to kill Romeo, and I cannot do that. Hmm. That's not good. So maybe this is well laid plans, then acrobatics, so we try to draw like leg sweep or something? Or just three defends, and then I take a bunch of damage, but the fight progresses because they're getting poisoned. Okay. That is painful. This has been a much more painful fight than I was hoping it would be. And it's still 19 kill Romeo. Or I can leg sweep for 15 block, defend for 6. Definitely not supposed to let this fight go this long, normally. Normally though, that means that something has gone awry. That's probably why we took so much damage. This fight does not count for Black Star. These guys are not elites. They are just jerks. Piercing Whale helps so much. Oh, that hurts. Wait, 5 max lose 20. So that's... yeah, that would kill us. Okay. Does anyone know, by the way, what the order of this is? If I had 22 hit points right now, and I clicked on Sacrifice, would I live or would I die? I've never tried to find out. Free curse? You do live? Cool. Good to know. Yeah, because the, or the order indicates you gain the 5 first and then take the 23. So the, the left to right ordering... Is nice there. Unfortunately, we don't live if we take that option. I think I need to. No, I'm gonna take this curse away immediately. My decision making. We have another fire coming up. Hopefully, this is a question mark. I'm not fighting only one elite. Or hopefully, this question mark is a store. Yay! Ooh, success for not resting. Because we can now buy the Lee's Waffle. Upon pickup, raise your max health by 7 and heal all of your hit points. Og Champ. My deck for a little bit here. Hmm. But definitely buying this. 73 hit points. Heck yeah. Insect is really good with our Black Star. Like, really good with our Black Star. I'm honestly tempted to buy a Sadistic Nature Plus here. <laughs> to go with our Fumes Plus. But it means I can't buy the Insect. It's really cute, though. It's really cute. To, uh, to use this card here. I don't think it's great. We're one gold off. Oh my god, we are. 309? No, that's 319. So we're 11 gold short. Curses? Yeah, potion would be nice. I think I want to buy the sadistic nature and give it a chance. This deck is... Is not being fancy enough. Let's do it. Rest in peace, preserved insect. We'll have to make do without you. Figure it out. Cool. That was a good use of five thousand dollars or whatever. Then 
gonna continue to just remove strikes. And curses. Happy flower. Every three turns gain an energy? Sure, I'll take it. You got it. Some pieces, fat gumlin. Plans, the fumes, the footwork. Boots of shield gremlin. Got him. The leader's a cool fight. It's a, it's a it's always a balance between dealing enough damage to take care of the minions and making sure that the leader themselves is also taking damage. AoE powers like thousand cuts and uh, noxious fumes go a long way here, fortunately. Times three, huh? Oh no, I can only block for eight. My health! <laughs> That's amazing, Jin! I've seen a lot of people forget to take keys. In fact, I don't I literally don't know anybody who streams Slay the Spire who has not lost an Ascension 20 run to missing a key, and that does include me. Absolutely includes me. Those thousand cuts go to work. Watch sadistic nature just ruin these new nerds, too. Boom! Four damage to every target. What other power can do something so incredible? That's right, none of them. There are no other cards in the game that can do that much damage. True fact. I wonder if there's any heart one words worth skipping. So you'd have to be in a situation where the difference in where the the chance of finding a chest in a question mark room with a blue key has to be higher than the chance that you can win the run without the relic in the chest that you're looking at currently. And I could, I could see a situation where that happens, like, you've got an ironclad run that has jack squat, except you have, like, a corruption, and there's a dead branch in the chest. So you have, a, like, a decent chance of winning with it, and, like, no chance of winning without it. So if you're currently in a, like, if there's no way you could possibly win without that relic, then, then maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hey, someone is asking for the mummified hand. Here it is. When we play a power card... A random card in our hand costs zero for the turn. Like more energy. Blood Vile, start of each combat heal too. All the time's pretty good here. We do draw a lot of cards. But I think because we just picked up the mummified hand, we don't necessarily want a bullet time. Is that correct? That might be correct. Funny that these kind of counteract each other. Yeah, bullet time with Thousand Cuts Predators is pretty strong. Let's see, maybe maybe they'll counteract each other. We'll give it a chance to not do that. I didn't think I could play all my cards. That's totally a lie. Ignore my bad card order. Chrono got the perfect, the perfect mummy hand call. Four relics in, yeah. Four relics. Crackpad, what are you doing? Come on. No. No. Yeah. 
got him. Terror. Playing 99 vulnerable. And exhaust. Yeah, we do a lot of physical attack damage. And it combos with sadistic nature. I'm down. I'm down for this plan. Yeah, maybe mummy hand bullet time was a bit much. Tear or what? Rip. Rip or tear. Okay, bullet time is doing a lot of work here. So I'll give it I'll give it some credit. Credit where credit is due bullet time. But how about sadistic nature? Does it get credit here? It's doing a lot of damage. Champ belt uppercut. Yeah, that'd be what? Three procs of sadistic nature every time you play it? A lot. Sadistic nature makes the sphere potion do four damage. If we need any basic attacks. What well, we need... Ooh, what do we need? We have six energy this turn and skewer. Oh my gosh. Get obliterated, Book of Stabbing. Get obliterated, nerd. I think I just play the well laid plans. If it hits a defend, oh well. Oop, hit predator. Beautiful, wonderful, and amazing. Got him. Got him. Maybe play competently. Maybe. Uh, you're not gonna play this turn, are you? Almost assuredly not. Blonde of Thousand Cuts for next turn, alongside Piercing Whale, I believe. Expertise at all? Um, maybe? Maybe. It might have happened. It's not about whether the card's actually good, it's about how we feel about the expertise. And I feel like it was an expert pick. <laughs> oh man. Or a Calicum, if we had our turn without block gain 6, Pocket Watch. We play 3 or less cards during our turn, draw 3 extra cards, start of next turn. And if we want one, a Glass Knife, which I think we do want. A pretty powerful attack. We have a Terror, can afford to upgrade it. I'm in. Ooh, Sadistic Nature Fumes to do with these nerds. Plus Pocket Watch drawing me a whole heck of a lot of cards here. Glorious. Uh, Footwork. Uh, no, a thousand cuts first. Strike free, that made acrobatics free. My hand is full. My hand is too full. I wish I could play that bullet time. We can hold on to it for next turn. And full block this turn pretty easily. Um, 15 damage, 16 is 19, or wait, 6 times 3 is this, is 16. No, is 18. Why am I so bad at math? This is 18 damage, defend, defend blocks for 16. That's what I'm trying to say. I keep just saying the numbers 18 and 16 over again, like I'm crazy though. There we go. 
Also, I forgot the Crusade Will was going to block for full there. And do four damage to each of them. Thanks, Sadistic Nature. Times were had. The Sadistic Nature kill! Third Predator? I'm in. Don't even hesitate, just grab it. This is now a Collector Bonus Predator deck. I think. Probably want to upgrade that bullet time. So that we can uh, play it cheaper. Get the artifacts gone! Foul nerd. hold on to this terror so that we can actually get it onto the Yosemitan here. Aha! Hold the sadistic nature value. Got him. Uh, play that card here. Heck yeah. Alright, what are you stealing? Fine, expertise. Well, you don't even play that card anyway. I don't need that. Don't need that nonsense. I want the thousand cuts though. TBH. <laughs> Joke's on you, my cards are terrible! Got them. Got him. Blocking? I could have done that in better order, huh? Seven blocks. Hold those. I've got a sweet bullet time lined up. I wish I could say I did that on purpose, but I totally didn't. That looks it looks far more purposeful than it was. Uh, unfortunately, my order here is a little weird, because I want to play the acrobatics before I bullet time, which means not playing the thousand cuts until later in the turn. Weird. Um, bullet time, let's play with anything like crazy, just get chunked on, nerd. Wow, this tech draws a lot of cards. What? Hello. Doesn't seem very fair. My opponent. Man. Three predator bullet time. Let's go. Energy potion feels a little unnecessary. How about a second copy of Thousand Cuts Plus? Or a corpse explosion, I suppose. Thousand Cuts seems way more fun though, right? Although, hold on, corpse explosion triggers uh, sadistic nature twice. So if we're going for the sadistic nature value, corpse explosion's really good? Hmm. Then we just like obliterate everything in an AoE fight. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go for the sadistic nature build. It's two debuffs at the same time. What are these boss relics? <laughs> Excuse me.
Tiny House says, gain a bunch of stuff, including gold. Also, five max health and like a potion or something. OP statue is a potion every single combat. Or Ori lets us look at and choose up to five extra cards, which could be our fourth predator. Tiny house to go with our tiny chest. This might be an Ori pick. We have a f the frozen egg makes it a lot better. Like to some predator and the thousand cuts he missed. I'm in. I'm in. What do we got here? Sucker Punch Plus? Prepared? Another Well Aid Plans Plus? Choke Plus? Actually, yes! When we play a card this turn, the enemy loses 5 health, I'm down. Let's take it. Unusual ways to deal damage. Also, Choke synergizes with Sadistic Nature. Amazing. Pretty standard Ori, by the way. <laughs> hey look, it's a whole bunch of trash that we don't want. Although now do we want to well we, we still don't want to retain cards, right? We have enough weekend that we don't care about a Sucker Punch Plus. We could maybe take this Concentrate. So that we can draw more cards. Or we could take a second copy of well Aid Plans. So that we can draw more cards. Question mark? Lachette's question mark? Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? Am I sure that I have enough weaken? I'm a cr one crippling cloud away from having enough weaken. And I would much rather have a crippling cloud. Boss Relic was Choke Plus, and what a Boss Relic it was. <laughs> I'm in. Alright, we got the Awakened Blakened, but that's okay, because we're on Ascension 15. Only gains one measly point of strength. We can still fight three elites while taking out the Burning Elite. Pretty sweet. Have to go to the store to fight the Burning Elite, apparently. We have to buy a ticket in. Hey look, Expertise is going to get played this turn. Amazing. Hmm. I fume survivor and take one. Oh no, wait, we have Bobby Hand. I take none. I'm bad at video games. Sparkly Elite. Well, my apologies. I had no idea. That was the technical concern. What's the order here? Choke, Sadistic, Thousand Cuts? Now for the part where I can't actually block. Damage with the, the piercing whale, thanks to sadistic nature. Incredible. Piercing whale plus. I mean, yes. We take that, right? <laughs> Alchemize was kind of cute. I have two good potions as is. But do I really need things that are cute? I say nay. No, I don't. Purple block here. Some stuff we could do with the corpse explosion, but... Time is free, oh my lord. The value.
full damage. Catalyst returns. Catalyst is too easy. I'm not taking a catalyst. Game is too easy. Give me curses! I want them. Curse me as hard as you like, game. Have you ever built an infinite deck with Silent? Yeah, I have. Uh, we have done we have done some really wacky things with Silent. My I think the one that Looks really stands like out. Looks like we've got our work cut out for is... us, Commander. The hell was that? Oh, that was my host notification. The Racing of Isaac hosted me for up to 26 viewers. Thank you so much for that host, The Racing of Isaac. Welcome on in, everybody. Yeah, it was... <laughs> so my notification came through my speakers just quiet enough that it caught me off guard. <laughs> and I, I, I heard that somebody was talking, and my first instinct was like, oh no, did I leave a YouTube video on in the background or something? Fire runs are going great! We're having some Ascension 15 fun. And I've managed to assemble some sort of, like, power spam silent deck that is trying to use sadistic nature as best it can. This card's not very good, but we're giving it a chance today. We're giving it the best chance it can have. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, it's got tube in the name. Close enough, right? Close enough. play this to avoid the regret damage as best I can, ow. Double power potion? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Upgraded catalyst. The game really wants me to take one. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not bending to your will, game. I will beat you without the catalyst. Thank you. Get out of here. See, now this I can get behind. Boom, boom. Let's go. Chemical X transmutation. It is happening. It is happening. Yeah, also our eighth copy of Willie Plans or whatever. <laughs> um, do I card remove? Do I buy this Omomori to block a curse? What are we doing here? <laughs> what a time to be alive. Guaranteed at least one card removal out of the Omomori. So we're paying 54 extra gold. <laughs> Cheers, Jin. Transmutation fetish is satiated for now. Probably want to remove one of these curses, huh? Um, that seems fine. There's stuff we could do with Impatience or Prepared, but there are- Wait, we can buy the Welly Plans? I'm doing it. We could have taken one for free? Heck no, I'm gonna pay 74 gold for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, Nemesis. You like some cards? Three random attacks into your draw pile that cost zero. Oh boy, we've got two riddle with holes. And a grand finale. I like it. I like it.
Oh yeah, I, that's certainly on the upgrade list, JDK. Transmutation's first up, for sure. 100%. So the sad truth here is that if we play Choke bef after Sadistic Nature, we get 4 bonus damage. But if we play Sadistic Nature after Choke, we get 5 bonus damage. So we don't even want to get the Sadistic Nature value, compared to just getting more Choke value. But Choke value I will definitely take. Come Choke, nerd! Also doing a lot of damage to me. I wonder if I had lethal that turn. I actually forgot about Chemex. Is it? We have Orcalcum, we're fine. Just play cards, lol. Dark Shackled Nerd. Double Sadistic Nature Value. Boom! Neko Skull, when we apply poison, apply one extra. Pantograph, heal 25 and sort of boss combats. Emerald Key says go to Act 4. There's the Crippling Cloud that I wanted. Apply 4 poison and 2 weak to all enemies and trigger Sadistic Nature twice. Also, I see you, Catalyst number 3. Get out of here. No one invited you to the party. No one invited you. You are no fun at parties. do Choke Predator, but that's only not even near enough damage to full block here. Yeah, I, I wish this Necro Skull would trigger the Sadistic Nature again. That'd be incredible. That would be amazing. Maybe I just acro? Yeah, acro try to draw the bullet time or something. What do we get here? Uh, that's not a bullet time, but it is pretty good. I think this time we do play Sadistic Nature before Choke. Because we, we definitely want a chance at making that Choke free. Oh, we got Piercing Whale. I'll still get Choked, sir. Hold the... There's no reason not to hold more cards. Forgetting I have Chemical X again. I'll remember that at some point. The day's not the day. Or, or whatever. Panache? Magnetism? Hold on to violence? <laughs> Get so many cards next turn. Alright, so this is how the deck scales, by the way, is doing apparently stuff like this. Which is great.
Oh my god, it's so much damage. <laughs> 280 damage that turn, my god. <laughs> Got him. Violence does work with bullet time, because it puts them into your hand instead of drawing them, so you can do it well under the effects of, uh, of bullet time. Do I take Calculated Gamble here? That seems like a must-have, right? Quick Slash is also fine, but Gamble's more fun. And violence is sometimes the answer. Upgrading Transmutation is the answer. That's where I'm at right now. Make those cards upgraded, and then at some key moment, Transmutation is definitely going to give us a copy of uh, Apotheosis. Guaranteed. Alright, here's our Sapphire Key Take, followed by our Sapphire Key Toke. <laughs> yeah, we really mitigated the hell out of this uh, Curse Key, huh? Um, playing this defense not worth it. It's probably a Piercing Whale. Transmutation would generate six cards. I don't want to do that. Flag, transmutation. Transmutation again. Oh, I can do fun things here. So every time I hit this enemy, it's going to change intent. One of the things Writhing Mass does. The reactive buff. Upon receiving attack damage, changes its intent. So playing any of these attack cards will change the attack Riding Mass is going to do, but that's okay. That is okay. Yep. Some little bit of damage here with Mind Blast. Zero times three, no problem. I want to do something fancy. I want to do something really fancy. I'm going to put... That's fine for now. Let us for thought the neutralize. Or no, 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 we don't want to secret. Actually, secret weapon. Secret weapon. Look at that. Let's see what that does. Okay, good. Well, let's put random attacks into the hand, and then I'm going to put them on the bottom so they're free. All together with forethought. And then we have a fancy play. Well, then we have a fancy play. Is it a good play? Probably not. But it's fancy. That explosion guaranteed free! Playing the terror here so that Pocket Watch triggers, we draw a 10 card hand with our bullet time. For maximum fun! Choke first, then bullet time. Then we obliterate this nerd. Caught him. Gambler's Brew is a powerful potion in this deck. Anything that lets us draw cards is very good. Expertise value is about to happen. I think we choke first here on the Reptomancer. Yeah, 
We're gonna Toker upgrade expertise. We should probably do one of the two, right? We'll do one of those two things. Second Willing Land. Skewer does a ton here. Too much damage, actually. Could we hold on to the gamble? That feels like an acceptable turn. There might have been a better way to do that. We could have done way more to Reptomancer and like full block or something. Why? Sadistic nature is already in play, so Crippling Cloud is dunk delicious here. like retained cards, but that's for people who want the game to be too easy. Or something. I don't know. We don't need that nonsense. We just have a kill. I good transmutation. I will. Let's see what we get here. Mind Blast for one damage? Hell yeah. Get him. Get him. Alright, Art of War says if we don't play any attacks during our turn, gain an additional energy. And Shuriken says if we do play three attacks in one turn, gain a strength. So no matter what we're doing with attacks, there. Oh man, we're super taking a skewer with Chemex. No matter what we're doing with attacks, there's value there. Finisher was also okay there, for the record. But with the Chemex skewer, I gotta. Invoke the claws of you gotta. Oof. Spicy. Look at that spicy skewer. I would like to block better. Than that. This is not better by a large margin. I've got noted on my case file. Please and thank you. Only draws one card. We're better off letting Orichalcum block here than we are playing this defend for three. Very well. The bomb! We live long enough. Your technique can only fetch Crippling Cloud. You know what? Or no, I also acrobatics. Get the Crippling Cloud. And retain it! Say something only Baylor Lord would say. I think Transmutation is a really good card here. <laughs> Does that count? Oh, what does it count? <laughs> Jinfiz, you're so funny and hot. I think more than I would just say. Uh, more people than I would say that. We have no, literally no shivs, right? Yeah, we have literally no shivs. I died on Hexacoast because I, or it was Guardian. I died on Guardian for playing my Fire Potion on the wrong turn. <laughs> blur or Second Lake Sweep? One Blurricade, please. Yeah, I'm done for a Blur here. Put you on that.
please give one blurricade. Thanks, bye. Go uh, sadistic first, then thousand cuts, then acrobatics. Oh three. Need a corpse for the double sadistic nature value. And wreck that head. Giant head has the slow property every time we play a card during our turn. Takes ten percent extra damage from physical attacks. So against giant head, your goal is typically to play your cards in order from least damaging physically to most damaging physically. We want to go piercing whale, neutralize strike predator for the maximum maximum slow value here, for example. Your emotionally damaging cards can be played in any order against Giant Head. They are all super effective. You really can't do anything other than sit there and listen to you taunt him. Why are you still here, Giant Head? Don't you have anything better to do? It's her predator gamble? Followed by playing Skewer twice? Oof, that hurts. Got him. Five additional cards, I'm in. What do we got? Apotheosis Plus. Yes, please. Yes, please. I called that a while ago. I knew it was gonna happen. King four. This is the first time I'm actually gonna use that. <laughs> Why are you still here? Remember? Reminds us to remember our life goals. What is your goal? What do you, what do you seek to do? Why are you still here? Oh, I wanted to play Skewer. Damn it. Oh, well, we got the Courier. So the Merchant is now cheaper. We have a second Crippling Clyde Plus, which I'm going to take because of sadistic nature value. Bottled Flame lets me bottle any one attack card. What's our best bottle here? Choke? Skewer? Choke or Skewer, probably. The options. Skip was also valid. But I want an extra relic on the relic list. Predator is also a nice bottle. I do like having uh, extra card draw in turn two. It's good against the heart. Good against Spiraling. Hmm. Get your pot here. To recall. Miller only ever has good luck. That's true. That is actually factual. Part of my contract. Alright, this is Ascension 15 Awakened 1, so I'm just going to play literally every power that I run across, and it's going to be fine. Probably. Probably. Corpse explosions here to save the day? Heck yeah. So I keep you pinned. Want your corpse to explode. Keep the lock. Here's a game. Oh, 
Uh, let's just Terra in the first phase. Probably. Right, you said I was gonna play every power. I mean it. I meant it. Did I not draw any block? Hmm. Block cards? I have a few of them in the deck, I guess. Apparently not that many. We're gonna hold on to Piercing Whale. I'm gonna do Choke... Do I play Sadistic Nature first? Or do I Piercing Whale first? I just play Sadistic Nature first. Give me a free Piercing Whale, damn it. But Nash, that's also a power, I'm playing it. No reason to play that, because we have Orcalc on the block. Could have held on to bullet time too, but that would have been smart. Make sure transmutation's not very good, they never said. Right? We spend all our energy on the bullet time and then the transmutation doesn't do diddly squat. Tragic. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Crypto1406. We've done a few uh, chat drafts with the built-in um, with the built-in Twitch functionality. It'd be fun to do tomorrow. To do some chat stuff tomorrow. So I'll be laptop streaming. It means you guys can click the cards instead of me. Why do I keep... Man, hardest thing about having two copies of uh, well-laid plans is remembering that you have two copies of well-laid plans, apparently. It is incredibly difficult, as it turns out. Do that. Who knew? We're just taking damage here. It's a waking win. We'll be fine. Okay, this time I'm deliberately not retaining that many cards, because we're triggering Pocket Watch. So I want to play Piercing Whale, because he's dying this turn. That takes this 9 current strength down to 1 current strength. And then when he dies, only the 1 current strength gets checked. The Awakened One returns with 1 strength and not 9. Much, much safer this way. Much safer this way. So we only have 17 health, which seems like it's not the correct amount to have, if I had to guess. God, it took us such, such explosive turns. Holy crap. Yeah, we cut, we cut the strength down with the Piercing Whale trick, Bunny. By playing Piercing Whale on the turn that Awaken One dies, you get to keep the strength reduction from the Piercing Whale for the entire fight, basically. The long and short of it. Oh, no worries, it's it's not a not an intuitive thing to do at all. So no surprise for being like, hey, what happened there? To thump, to thump, is this the heart of the spire that you're going to choke? Prepare your choking knives. Your garret. Garot? How is that pronounced? The like the, the the assassin string that you wrap around somebody's throat. 
How is that pronounced? Yeah, it's only at the heart that playing playing piercing will can can go backwards and increase strength. That is that is a thing that the heart happens to do. We're fine, right? We don't need more health. Toka Toka Toker curse. It is indeed pronounced choking knives. Well, then, there you go. Well, there you go. Burst choke? Not really a thing. What would we like to burst? Burst bullet time. Burst transmutation plus. I'm in. Hey, they conveniently have no artifacts thanks to Red Mask and Ascension 15. They only have one artifact to charge on this difficulty, which makes life a lot easier. Can I kill the Spire Spear on turn two? I think I can with this hand. What I purchased was Burst. Card that doubles a skill. Discard. Your next skill is played twice. I did do it kind of quickly. Yeah, Terror Skewer is 15 times 8, 120 damage, actually. Plus 4 for Sadistic Nature. So, if I Sadistic Nature, Terror Skewer, the Spire Shield, I will leave it at one hit point. That's dumb. <laughs> why, why does it have to be one hit point? I would like it to die, please. So what we want is for Sadistic Nature to hit Predator here. Please do that. And then gamble for neutralize. Ooh. Yeah, that could work out in a number of ways, actually. Let's do it. But I want to try to kill the spear. Killing Spear first could be legit here. But no! Enjoy your one hit point, nerd. Totally got it. We totally got it! So we see what uh, transmutation creates. A second sadistic nature? Amazing. Which makes acrobatics free. I can play acrobatics here. Don't get any well laid plans or anything. And now I can't play Impatience. Oh, hmm. Actually, the wrong order. Whatever. There's that Piercing Whale I was hoping we would draw this turn. Plus double. Double Sadistic Nature value. I'm gonna use Thousand Cuts. I can't guarantee that I play the card I want. Afterwards. Very minor ouchies. And then the burst in him begins. Burst. Crippling Cloud with double sadistic nature does 32 damage just from the sadistics. I dig it. That's a lot of damage.
Bye bye now. Bag of marbles, kunai. Start of each combat, apply one vuln to our opponents. And if we play three attacks in one turn, gain a dex and a strength. And a fuse plus if we want one. You've never ever taken sadistic nature, and you might need to reconsider. I wouldn't reconsider too hard, uh, Firex. This is this is about the best I've ever seen it be, and it's it's even like like we could remove it from the deck, and the deck would be fine. It's nice, but I would I would not call it a top tier card. Mostly mostly like it's decent, um, some of the time. But its its main problem is that it usually costs two hundred gold to acquire. And there's just stronger things you can do with 200 gold. Almost always. Almost always. Protectician. You have, like, a double amount of discard. Take another fumes. Do it. If it's skull, right? Yeah. Alright, full health for the heart. Sadistic nature on turn one. Hug champ. Probably gonna be our uh, power potion. I just want to make sure that I'm not. I don't want to play the ancient potion yet, just in case I like draw into bullet time somehow, because that will use my artifact charge. So I want to use this ancient potion right before I end the turn to block the vulnerable from the heart. The only time you ever bought a sadistic nature involved a bottled in venom plus. In venom plus, you say. In Venom Plus, you say. Check that out. We have a Venom Sadistic nature for the heart fight. Get that after image nonsense out of here. We don't need that. We have a Venom Sneko Skull Sadistic nature. There's no way I can't. Like, this will never be a better in Venom out of a power potion, ever. <laughs> There's no way I'm turning it down. There's no way. It's too fun, right? But way too fun. Hold the power. Every time we play an attack card, we apply two poison and do four damage extra. You know, that's not even that good. <laughs> it's not even that good. Hey, a block card. My god. So I do defend Thousand Cuts Welly plans. I don't want to play Piercing Whale, thank you. Poison is stacking up. And every point of damage- oh, I forgot to use the potion- no, I forgot about it! I'm a dum-dum. I actually just forgot about it. Whatever, we'll use it with bullet time, it'll be great. It'll be the best thing that ever was. You'll see. You'll all see! Meanwhile, um, burst transmutations happening this turn, which is pretty exciting. Definitely piercing well to block 30 damage. Hope we well plans first. Piercing well free. I need to make a room in my hand for the burst transmutation. Currently, each transmutation will give me five cards, so I don't have room. Fine. That's so good! That's so good! Okay, so, hold on. I have a value play here. Hold on. I have the most value play. What card in my deck do I want to play this turn? I can play any card I want. Because I have Sadistic Nature, a Mummified Hand, and a Purity. And I can use the purity to delete every card other than the one I want to make free with the mummified hand. So what skill do I want to play? Not bullet time. I 
If I can beat the fight without playing any more attacks from here, it would make the Envenom kind of sad. But, but also, possibly? Um, I probably just want a Crippling Cloud. Or a Lake Sweep. No, a Crippling Cloud. We definitely have Poppy Aces. An S to drop card. Secret technique for the crippling cloud. Uh, we actually want to keep the fumes in hand because we maybe get to play it for free. We delete everything else from the hand that costs one or more. Play sadistic nature makes fumes free. Fumes makes cloud free. Cloud gets played. The game. Tend to draw a secret technique. We can block a little bit. Convenient, because somebody forgot to block the vulnerable. I see one card, so I can see burst or leg sweep, but not burst leg sweep, which is criminal. I should be able to burst leg sweep this turn. Maybe I'd try to do it with like seeking an acrobatics or doing a calculator gamble or something. Sounds totally fine and reasonable. Mm, that didn't work out so well. Uh, one, two, three. I don't want to end with no block so that Orc Halcon can do stuff. Better than playing every card in my hand right now. Although it does a lot less damage. Who's bullet time? Good bullet time. Those sadistic natures going. Sure, we go down to 12 health. But what's 12 health between friends? I mean, really. Now I have to be careful. We should be fine now that we have footwork in play and everything. But how fine will we really be? First piercing whale. The big deal here. We totally negate this hit. We're gonna keep finesse for next turn when we need the block. I can also do Mind Blast instead of Burst. Because we have Envenom in play. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, we go Defend, Mind Blast, stripping the artifact, then play Piercing Ray. Then we can Skewer. Got him. Beautiful. Um, okay, so we're drawing a burn if we play finesse. <laughs> Not really what I wanted to draw. Oh, no worries, Appletoons. That's a that's a pretty unusual play. So I like it. Even if I don't go with that kind of play, that's a great one to, to like point out in chat. Just because it's it's something I think most people might not even consider. Because it requires you to remember that you have Envenom in play. It's not, it's not easy to do. Remembering, game, remembering things is hard. In fact, I usually don't remember what relics I have. Um, I have like trained myself in certain situations to look at my relic bar 
and assess, hey, do I have this relic? Like, any time I run across a curse in an event, my eyes go up to the relic bar. Do I have Darkstone Periapt? Do I have Omomori? Are the questions I ask myself, rather than just trying to remember. <laughs> it's so hard. It's gotta be a burst leg suit, right? It's gotta be. Sadistic nature. Sadistic nature adds 16 damage to uh, to our neutralize there. That's a lot of damage. What skill do I want? Does it even matter? Give him the choking. Um, rip for the sadistic nature choke value, actually. Boom, look at that. No problem. GG. Mr. Hart. Happy birthday to the ground. Get out of here, Ancient Potion. GG. Any anytime we can make use out of a sadistic nature, that's a good run, right? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, I guess we finally did finally decided the uh, nature versus nurture debate at long last. <laughs> Such a great song. I really liked uh Lonely Islands, uh, first stuff. It was, it was such my style of humor back when I was like 17 and it was coming out. Not really my, uh, my style anymore, but the references remain lodged in my brain. The Spire sleeps. So, shall I? That's actually a lie. I'm gonna play Defect now. But first... I'm going to refill my water, stretch my legs, use the washroom real quick. I encourage you all to do the same. I'll be back in just a moment for more Slay the Spire action. Thank you everybody for joining me for uh, the laptop streams today and yesterday. been super grateful to have all of you here and hanging out despite the admitted drop in audio, visual quality, etc. The gameplay is still here and as good as ever. See you all in just a couple minutes. Thanks for your patience.
Alrighty, everybody, we are back. Thank you all for your moment of patience there. We request an all for one slash claw build if the opportunity presents itself. You sure can. Those are fun as heck. I haven't done a good claw build in a while. There's a decent odds that I will randomly swap uh, boss relic on the defect here, and therefore decent odds that we get an inserter. So here's hoping. Here's hoping. Another try? Uh, of two. I don't really like those start options, so it's probably a boss relic. <laughs> it's true, I've verified my identity. Has been done. Oh my gosh, look at this act one, it just like it just keeps going. We do elite fire elite. Fire elite fire. Fire. Yes, please. So many elites, so many fires. So many random boss relics. Oh, that's not an inserter. That's a Sneko eye. The start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat. A pretty potent start. You ask me. Usually pretty good. Just once you get a couple cards under your belt. Claw run denied. Yeah, unfortunately. But maybe we'll be offered them anyway. And maybe we'll take them anyway. Snack away starts are tough. Your starting deck is a little less subject to variance at the start. Right, like you get to play strikes and defends depending on what Sneko allows you to play. You don't really get a choice in the matter. And that means your opening combat could be rough. Or it could be really easy. It's really up to Sneko what happens here. I expect to lose a moderate amount of health in the first few fights, and then it's going to get easier as soon as we add a few cards. As soon as we get one good card specifically, everything will be magical. Tempest is fine. It's a. Uh, it lets us play. It lets us use our energy effectively at one energy per one lightning orb, and that's not bad. Yeah, that's a. There's a lot of different ways you can look at it, but ultimately, Snekoi because Snekoi a, a decent way to explain this I think is because Snekoi makes your cards random cost. Every time you draw a card you have a chance of getting a low-cost card, and that means that drawing more cards with Snekoi effectively gives you more energy. And since Snekoi also makes you draw two additional cards every turn, those two factors combine, and you get more energy. The more you can... You can increase this factor by adding expensive cards to the deck, and you can increase this factor by adding more card draw to the deck. But almost no matter what, you're, you're kind of getting additional card value out of the, the Sneko Eye. It does occasionally give you hands like this. And these ones suck. <laughs> these ones are no fun. And I think I'll, I, I do often hear the sentiment like, hands like this are why I never take Sneko Eye. And I think the, the thing to uh, keep in mind when stuff like this happens is that for every Sneko turn like this, there's a Sneko turn where you get to play six cards and just obliterate the fight. And it averages out in the end. Most of the time. It's possible to get really unlucky. It does happen, but it's... Like, losing from Sneko luck is, I think, way less likely than most would expect. Ha! <laughs> 
I would make a Cinder's Bane cost 3 if I could. Sounds like Sneko Eye. Um, wow, I didn't actually have any choices to make there. Cool. Let's take more. A little bit more. I did say it was going to be rough, didn't I? Yeah. Sneko Eye always, always for me, tests my resolve by making me take a bunch of damage in the first few fights after I pick it up. Surge battery is nice. We definitely want a little bit more block. The extra energy on the following turn helps a lot, too. I certainly like it more than Overclock or Aggregate. And yes, bad draws can happen without Sneko Eye. Sometimes you just don't draw the attacks that, like... <coughs> Me. What is this draw? I drew every block guard I had <laughs> on turn one. Well, I guess we're taking six damage next turn. Oh, we're not. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, like, this This is the kind of Sneko turn that, that makes up for the Jawworm encounter. Because we get to just destroy this encounter. Easy peasy. Look at that. Looks like we're cheating. You charge battery. Force Field is a 4 cost 12 block card that gets randomly costed. Yes. I would like to block 12. No! All for one. No! 10 gold short. That's unfortunate. Recycle on sale is kind of interesting. Recycle with Sneko Eye lets you often generate more energy. It's true that the recycle costs a random amount, but when we, well, the way that I look at this is that recycle will generate energy as long as it's not the most expensive card in your hand. And given that you have seven cards in your hand, it's pretty unlikely that it is the most expensive card. So I'll take it. I might also just take a Ball Lightning so that we have more damage. We have to fight an Elite very shortly, and our damage output is a little mediocre at the moment. Pick up a Ball Lightning. Keep the rest of the gold. I think. We have two good potions here. And hell yeah, I'm gonna trade that. 26 health, no problem. Let's fight an Elite. Nothing going wrong at all. I draw a little bit more offense there. Right here, cost defend. Or not invited to my birthday party. That lane. Okay. I think I get to play this defend for a little bit of block. I'm definitely playing Tempest for a lot of damage. Play Defend Strike Tempest. Yeah, there's a chance every time we draw a recycle that it's useless, but that's true of almost every card with Sneko Eye, even the random costing. Okay, we're gonna leave this with not a lot of health. Might even leave it with zero health, depending on this next turn. What do you say? Hmm. What do you say? Uh, I will live on one if I play Force Field. I rest and fight another elite. The strength potion is not gonna trans it's not gonna affect the outcome of this turn, unfortunately. I don't believe. Let me just double check that. If we dual cast, we deal 16 plus another 6 is 22. So we have to deal another 22. If I had one more energy, I could steroid potion strike strike dual cast, and that would kill. I can't get that energy with recycle because it costs three, unfortunately. So we are unfortunately are in the situation where we cannot kill the knob. Not quite. Hmm. 
Not quite. We just play the the force field and live on one. And we hope that we kill it next turn. Hope that the run can survive from here. Definitely live this turn. Or paint will upgrade two random skills. I'm going to take another charge battery. I am certainly feeling the need for block. Ooh, upgraded blocks. I mean. I'm in. Fight another elite? Yeah, let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Don't, don't answer that question. Not tell me the... <laughs> don't tell me the odds! Okay, Recycle gives us five energy to work with, so we can play two strikes and two defense. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Force field plus. Just full block? I just full block. Okay. We don't care so much about the dazes that are being added. We're drawing seven cards per turn, so it's way less likely that we get our, our hands full of unplayable cards. Which is really nice. If <laughs> you like the blind optimism, but don't agree with it, you don't have to agree with it. You merely have to respect it. Have faith in me in the heart of the cards. I'll carry you through any challenge. Except for this one. Apparently. I'm not gonna recycle the strike there because we want we want to keep every playable, every non-status card in the deck for this fight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Getting bad. Is that a four health? I really thought we would have killed one of them by now. But apparently I don't have any damage in the deck. Hmm. That's not good. Technically not dead. The best kind of not dead. There's something I draw a strike next turn that I can play. Oh, I did. I just didn't also draw a block. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Charge battery, where were you in my time of need? No! Our Sneko start has been slain. I actually thought we had really good odds in that elite fight. I might have been wrong about that, though. GG. GG. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a defect run back. That doesn't feel like a good attempt on Defect. No longer have a Whale bonus. But I can do fancy Elite Sniping attempt. If I want to. I just have a Crazy Act 1. What's the craziest Act 1 I can see from here? Take out the Burning Elite? Yeah, let's go for the Burning Elite. Take the max health. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Tying to centuries must have been a glitch. So here's the bad draw that we have without the Sneko Eye. By the way, where we're forced to take damage in the early fights. We sure did it. Through those block cards, defects. Jorb. Claw, claw, we said we would do the claw thing if we had a chance. Let's do it. Let's take the claw. Promise is a promise. Murder, murder, murder. Claw, claw, claw. Root juice? And a leap? Shouldn't have. Alright, we take a leap. This is a good block card. Steam Barrier is an option, but I don't like it as much as leap at the moment. Because the leap is a higher number. 
And we have a couple, we have a free card already. Could drink the juice now, but like a fine wine, it'll age and taste better the longer we wait. Guaranteed true fact. Started upon Storm Loop Fusion. Interesting. Very interesting. Claw and Storm work together. Do we take a blind Storm with no other powers in the deck? Or do we take the power that actually does something? The loop. Loop supports Claw something. Somehow, right? Probably? Probably. I'm just afraid of nothing. What is too much to spend on it? If you're spending like more than on one plate, I don't know, like 10 bucks? Seems like a lot. I wouldn't spend personally more than like a two dollars on probably one plate, but I'm cheap. So if you had like actual money, I'd get like, I don't know, 10? One plate, how much can it cost? Like 10 bucks? But everyone will have a, a different answer. Hey, Chaos! I think we want orbs. To go with our loop. So we should just like, take the orbs we're offered, even though they're just like, random orbs. Probably fine. On sale from 47 to 18. <laughs> if you really like them, and you've got the money, like, you do you. Hologram goes with our claw, though. Chaos is not new, just an uncommon in defect. It's been here since I've been playing the game. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna grab it. Lousy fight! Am I really about to fight an elite? I am not in a position to fight an elite. Oh my god. I'm gonna go poorly. Might end up dead again. Beautiful. I'm gonna take the one in three chance we can kill the middle one here. Nope. Womp womp. Womp. Your plates can run a server. That might explain why they're expensive. Uh, do we take a sweeping beam here just so we have another attack? I think so. We might end up dead very shortly. I'm just gonna I'm YOLOing this full fully full YOLO. What's the worst that can happen? Dead immediately before dying to sentries for the second time that day. In a row. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Main train has begun. Very important that I kill one quickly. Thank you, Lightning Orbs. Being on the same, uh,. Same page as me, that. There. Got him. Not dead. Yes. No! 
Oh, not that guy. Kill the other one. Yes. Got him. Okay, not too bad. Still have 7 health and an anchor. Start combat with 10 block. Cool-headed gives us a frost orb. I would very much like right now. Even though it won't help me that much against the next elite. So I should probably take the go for the eyes for the gremlin up. Yeah, that fruit juice is about to get dranked. To give us more health off the rest before we fight the burning elite, which can't possibly go well, can it? Can't possibly. Alright, we got a Legavulin. Means I do have time to at least set up loot. A regenerating Legavulin. My. That's a scale claw there, probably. Fine! Triple Lightning Orb, apparently. Sure, why not? just such a nice card for things like Mega Villain. Helps you survive a lot better. Those pesky elite fights. Ouch, owie. My entire face. Preserved Insect. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less health. I oh, found another one. <laughs> energy Potion to grant two energy. Our Emerald Key and... Oh, wow. The Return of the Rainbow. In Act 1. Do we take it or do we simply embrace the Sunder? I think we take this Rainbow. It's three orbs in one. A lot of orbs. I mean... Kunai Claw? Every time we play three attacks in one turn, gain a dex? I'm in. I'm in. Build 20 health means I can actually fight a second elite here. We can go this way, instead of going up the middle for the double fire. Yeah, I want to do that. Heal me up! Scotty? Cleric? Oh, I can even eat the banana too? No, we're gonna get... We're gonna be 88 max health dot defect. I'm in. That's a lot of health. Give me a mango. Tiny gremlin nub. Man. See what happens. Oop. I block the vulnerable? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, much happier now. Could even almost full block this. If I go Chaos, Dual Cast. Probably a little ambitious, though. Let's take our 9 and be happy with it. Got him. You're in the family hand-me-down China gang? My own plates that I use are from the old lady next door. She moved away. But didn't want to take all her stuff with her. So I got I got old I got inherited plates from an old lady, and so all of my plates and like those matching bowls and teacups with like this blue floral floral print around the edges. Glorious. Frozen Egg. When we add a power card to our deck, it is upgraded. We take a Ball Lightning here. Ball Lightning synergizes with Kunai. Or we can take a Steam Barrier, which is a nice card with a Kunai, right? Just like free block. That goes up over time, kind of. We're fighting Guardian. Yes. Okay. Cool. 
I think it's Team Barrier. Okay, hey, retreat, retreat. Our current run is just just playing for funsies on Ascension 15. Nothing special beyond that. My decision making is primarily motivated behind what I think is going to be enjoyable, rather than what I think is going to be strongest. That's all there is to it. So far it's yielded an incredible silent run. That did sadistic nature things. Continuing to take block guards. I think charge battery is nice. And then we don't have to rest before the guardian because I said so. That might not actually be true, by the way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness for anchor here. Yikes. Um, if I Claw Strike Strike, we get a Kunai proc, and then I can leap for full block. I'll take it. Go for the Slime first. Simplify the fight down a bit. Lightning Orb of Slime is first to die. Yeah, you get him, Lightning Orb. Get him. Tell her right this. Yeah, this Steco defect was not long for the world, sadly. I wanted to believe. Yoink. See a claw, take a claw. Is apparently the rule. I, I guess. What is our best upgrade for beating Guardian? Like, one of our block cards? Chaos? Chaos. The must have upgrade. Okay, we definitely need to use the Strength Potion to give us a much higher chance of transforming Guardian here. So that we don't take the big hit and die. I'd really rather not die. Dying is in fact one of my least favorite modes. Kind of a weird order. Play the cards in. Uptime network? Huh. Failer Bot's only running on a few commands right now. Uptime does not work. We have an uptime command now. Uh, <laughs> Deal nine damage to ourselves. We get on to five block, and then we block for seven. Probably worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Die, fell beast. <laughs> you didn't miss anything, I promise. Guaranteed. I, oh, because the Baylor bot won't have permissions on the moderators, of course. Because it's a different bot. Hold on. I can add Jim as a moderator real quick. That's easy enough to do. Ooh. Okay. Have fun. Castle in the deck, it is somewhere. Or, er, well, by deck, do you mean draw file? No. 
We can wait for it. Got all the time in the world. I'm running out of time. It doesn't actually help me to play it this turn. Go for the ice saves me one hit point, technically, so I should play that. We just go to three. Probably okay. Yeah, it's fine. Next to Kunai is deck. Kunai and the deck skill that we've had so far. Everything is alright. Easy peasy. Now we dual cast for, quite frankly, way too much damage. Got him. Fire potion's excellent. Ooh, man. Buffer plus, though. Ooh. Spicy. I like a core surge a lot. I actually kind of like reboot a lot, too. But buffer plus? That's a good card. That's a very good card. Look at that. We have a uh, preserved insect. Should we just take the black star? I like it. Our options are white bee statue, always get a potion after combat rewards. Lizard Tail, when we would die, get 44 extra health. Or Elites drop an extra relic when defeated. Hold on, have the boss relics always floated around like this? And their shadow stays perfectly stationary? I'm just noticing this. Please tell me that's new. That is new? Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Two elites for the price of one. I'm in. You didn't pick up a preserved insect to not use it, right? Alright, elites. Hope you're ready to quake in your boots. I can fight three elites this act? Will I? Is that insane? That might be insane. It's probably like a safe route to fight two or something. I guess. I would really like to go to a store, but there aren't any. Well, I'll take... You know what? I'm gonna fight the early elite. It's gonna be fine. Let's put in since early alpha. Now I don't know what to do. Uh, I could dual cast this, but I could also wait. Yeah, there's only Zap coming up. So hold on to this. Ouch. My entire face. Special. Think you're so special. Power Driver's nice card draw. It goes well with our kunai as well. Yeah, I'm taking it. Don't have to think too too hard on that one. How about spooky ghost apparitions though? We have a lot of max health. Just wondering if this would let us beat the elites. I think we don't need its help. I want that as 88 max health later on. This book, though, I will read. Get the heck out of this. All the damage. Necro Omnom Namicon. We don't actually benefit from this yet. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna take it anyway. The next, the first attack we play each turn that costs two or more is played twice. Which will hopefully at some point be a card that we have. 
give you right now. Machine learning. And I saw Dooming Gloom pop up really briefly. I wanted it. I wanted it. I was denied. Thunder or Doom and Gloom, where are you at? Hmm. Buffer does not save me. The answer to this situation. I'll be sweeping me in first. Might have to be a fire potion. Will a fire potion be enough? Really hoping to have this fire potion for the elite that I'm about to fight. So maybe it's energy potion? Actually, I can just leap buffer and I'll take six. That's also kind of reasonable. I draw a go for the eyes, this gets so much better. Yeah, I'm gonna energy potion Rainbow Compiler. Believe. Only five? Oh, it's buffer plus, you're right. Yeah, it is only five. Yeah, you know what? I don't get really much damage done, but. I really do prefer having both of these potions. Very much. Okay, we can knock one out of the air here. And then take six more. Wow. A lot of damage. Fight is a hot mess without a randomly targeted damage. Stop killing me. Thanks. Uh, we just killed them both now. Okay, 19 health. That's enough to fight an elite with, right? Of course, after all that. Get a potion we don't want. Alright, Book of Stabbing! Hello! Please don't murder me. My one and only request to you. Please no kill. Give me my energy back. My plant. This is probably my energy potion. I'm just gonna use this now. We want to try to proc Kunai here, I think. Do I? I can also buffer defend, and that's a full block. Let's do that. Okay, as long as this dark room can get evoked. Yep. Bye here. We... Yeah, we just die if we don't use the fire potion. Well, we survived! I accept! Shuriken! So now we have double incentive to play three attacks. Pennib! So every 10th attack is double damage, and on the Machine Learning Plus, if you want one. I already have one of those, so I don't think I want a second one. A sweep, a second Sweeping Beam is fine. To go with our Super Relics. And the attack, the attack scaling we just got, kind of crazy. 
Yeah, I think we take another beam here. Rebound's also pretty good. For the record. We're gonna rest and fight another elite with no potions, and we're just gonna hope that that goes well. Because it sure might not. If this is uh, triple slavers, we're in bad... Okay, it's not. It is not. We are actually... Oh, and he's attacking turn one. This is really, really good. Excellent. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> bad that I can't kill either of the gremlins, but otherwise not bad. I think we will greatly appreciate the extra card draw from machine learning here. Okay, lightning orb, front guy. Rainbow and chill are probably... It's got to be rainbow first, right? There we can. Okay, so our goal is to build Shuriken Kunai procs, basically whenever possible. And use that as our mechanism for winning these fights. Probably wizard? We're being attacked next turn for a lot of damage. Uh oh. That is not good. Guaranteed attack next turn from Golden Leader, because we didn't draw any damage. He's a little bit spooky, but our next turn's looking good. Is there any world where I kill Grim Leader next turn? Probably not, but there is a world where I kill him two turns from now. And it's gonna have to put in some work here. For the eyes, definitely helpful. In terms of like keeping me alive here. Glorious. Yeah, glorious. So we pen nib the sweeping beam here. Do some dunkalicious damage. Rock everything! And then block everything. Or almost everything. Hey, Phalanjo. Uh, we're, we're broadcasting in 720p at the moment. Uh, I am streaming from my laptop, so my usual 1080-60 is not currently available. But will return. Will return. If you're having the problem with other channels, then that is probably something on your end. But if you're talking about right now, right here, then yeah, we are lower quality than usual. <laughs> it's not on your end. Not on your end. Alright, we'll buffer one of these hits. Everything will be fine. Oh god. Here it comes indeed. That's not enough damage to kill the leader, is it? Is it? Eight, nine? That's enough. That's barely enough. Let me do the claw anyway. Got him! Okay, we lived. We lived. Got ourselves a mummified hand when we play a power card. Random. Card in our hand cost zero, and we've got Blue Candle Necronomicon. Unfortunately on defect, but there's maybe some potential fun we can have here. Unplayable curse cards can now be played. When you play a curse, lose one health and exhaust it. I want a fission. I would like an upgraded fission. Really badly. Really like an upgraded fission. I'm gonna take and upgrade this fission. Data Disc. Start combat with one focus. Not even gonna think about taking that one. Or not take. Not even gonna think about not taking it. Excuse me. It's getting taped. Taped. Took. Um, I would like to maybe draw. Next turn's gonna be ugly, because we're not doing enough damage to prevent Mystic from- to, to cause Mystic to heal next turn. Hmm. 
Not even gonna not think about not taking anything other than not that one. Not. Go forward in the deck. That's potentially worthwhile. Eh. Eh. I feel great about how that turned out. But now I do. Now I feel good about how that turned out. Oh boy. Pen Nib Strike. My favorite. All the raw power we only we ever wanted. Buffering for one hit point? Incredible. Remarkable. Astonishing. How can one man do so much damage? Forget to blue candle the Necronomicers. All right, just for you, Chrono. Oh. Huh. Doesn't seem like it worked. Yeah, if you have, if you have self-forming clay or some other relic that it's triggering, it becomes amazing. Actually, we're not in such a position. Capacitor plus, or a cold snap, which is pretty legit too. You have mummified hand. I'm taking capacitor plus. <laughs> With a mummified hand, are you kidding me? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. How about a symbiotic virus? Start of each combat, start with a dark orb in play. We could try to take metamorphosis to go with our kunai shuriken. Shuffle three random zero cost attacks into the draw pile. Is that a thing? That could be a thing. Well, that could be potentially a thing. There's a Hello World Plus for sale. How do we get Metamorphosis into play in the first place? Better question. I think we struggle. Yeah, Steam Barrier is definitely nice. Do we take up another one? Probably we're struggling to draw enough uh, attack cards to actually trigger it. Definitely gonna buy that. Metamorphosis Scrape. Oh my god. Oh, we can't get both. Alright, well, we'll take the beam cell. And we'll remove a. Zap? This is not an attack. Alright, Scrape, you're up. You're on duty. Okay, this one can be triple slavers. That'd be fun. Well, I wouldn't be fine, per se. It would be terrible. But, like, only kind of terrible. Yeah. Terrible is close to fine. It's almost fine. And a buffer. Nice. That made Necronomicon free. Or terse. If Hello World made every card it gives cost one less, would it be too broken? I don't know if it would be too broken. It'd be way stronger. It'd be like a really good card. Some of the time. But only some of the time. 
simply strong. I have buffer, so this is totally fine, right? We can ignore paths when choosing the next room to travel to up to three times. Means we can get a lot of elites next act. Pair gives us 98 max health. Regen Potion gives us more current health. And <laughs> pick pick a defensive card. Which one would you like? Holy moly. Those rewards are so good. Gotta be the buffer, right? Because of mummified hands? The focus shuriken didn't be too good. Probably, Pantheran. There used to be a card for defect back when the class was first added called Allocate. And Allocate said lose one strength, lose one dexterity, gain two focus. And it turns out that card was ridiculous, because if you can perpetually increase your focus, then you can outscale any fight, as long as you have frost orbs. You don't need anything else. Take like another buffer. Hey Captain Nerdray, not just a Necronomicon, but a Necronomicon with no nothing it can double. It's a speculative Necronomicon, of course. Like you do. But don't worry, next act, we'll make it do stuff. Probably. To trigger our shuriken and our kunai. It'll be great. It'll be the best thing we ever did. Cool, Frost Orb means we don't lose a buffer stack. Life is good. It didn't exhaust. No, it was a skill kind of like consume. It only existed back in the the Halcyon beta days of the defect, so it's not in Spire Info or anything. Nor will you see it on the wiki, so you kind of have to like take my word for it. That was a real card. I promise it existed. I promise. Got a pen nib that. I was better at video games. Play a chill here. Next turn. The kit? No? Well, we have another buffer, so I don't actually care. Got him. Put itself at the top of the deck and ordered me a pizza. One of the best pizzas I've ever had in my life was a Hawaiian pizza. I don't mind pineapple on pizza. It's not all the time. And I think it goes... it needs to have bacon on it, too. You're gonna put pineapple on it. It also needs bacon. This is my decree. So saith the Baylor. You would love to see a machine playing this game. Does anybody have the link to um, Forgotten Arbiter's AI plays Spire? Because if 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 we're talking like a machine in terms of a an AI script, then you can in fact watch that. This Forgotten Arbiter made uh, made such a thing. It's not very good at Spire, but it does play it. Sweet, Jin's got it. Nice, thank you. We're linking that on up. As an AI, basically subroutine, plays Slay the Spur. Fine, it's not enough. Got buffer. This uh, Dark Orb is struggling to get evoked here. I just butchered my. Uh, I'm taking another chill. 
Now that I'm about to upgrade Fission, and we can finally play the Fission. Way too long. Pineapple and olives? Oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty. I am ready to proc my relics. Please allow me to do so. At your earliest convenience. Next spider. Chaos first, we get to see how much we need to block here. Oh, we can just play everything. Cool. Works to me! If I meant to use one of my potions this fight. Can you do the next potion? Oh god. Well, this is what fission's for. Yeah. So I cannot kill you. I'm actually okay just buffering this hit. That seems fine. Oh yeah, Maniac Max. I've played with that one a couple times. The uh, I forget what the relic's called. Gain an energy at the start of your turn and uh, have to have to deal with a an orb enemy that just all it does is block and steal cards from you every fight. And I like that there's decks that could take advantage of that with stuff like um, Corpse Explosion. You could actually have it be an upside because you could Corpse Explode it and do AoE damage. First card you play each turn exhausts is a power I want to exist in the game. Like, like that's the only effect it does. The first card you play each turn is exhausting. Actually, I think I submitted that as a card for uh, Chronometric's chat monstrosity. If you play it as your first card of the turn, it should exhaust itself. <laughs> Just like, denied. Denied. Was that a kitty? No, that was a phone ringing. It was not a kitty. There are no kitties. Tragically. The critical kitten shortage at the moment. Wait, I definitely played that in the wrong order. Whoops. Lost myself a frost orb. Whatever, I got three stacks of buffer. I'm sure I'll be okay. I'm sure it will be fine. We're like just shy of having enough attacks. Sometimes we get there. We could not sure again. Sometimes we don't. Game energy exhaust two cards at the start of your turn. Ooh, I do like that as a uh, as a downside. You have to exhaust cards before you start playing, and if you go on too long, that'll destroy you by running you out of cards. So I like that. That's really powerful, but also like potentially disastrous. My kind of relic. There we go, double procs. Five strength and five dex. Bring it on, Collector. Got no chance. Look at my defense, blocking for ten. Got him. Oh yeah, like he had Dead Branch would just crack that in half, huh? It's fine, Dead Branch does that to so many things already, right? <laughs> what difference does it make? What difference does it make? Now there is one claw, we could potentially get another rock here. I might as well try. Seven strength and seven decks. Where's my 12 strength defect at, huh? Where's it at? 
48 damage claw. Whoa. Damn. The idea of the defect being your big strong dad, huh? No, no comment. I don't think this is hyper beam. Wait, hold on, it gets doubled though. Maybe it is hyper beam. That's a strong ass hyper beam. Let's do it. I'm in. What is this? Surter, every two turns gain one orb slot. Velvet Choker, gain an energy at the start of each turn but cannot play more than six cards per turn or Astrolane, upon pickup, transform and upgrade three cards. Another energy would be nice, but I really don't want a choker with like a fission in the deck and a mummified hand. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Choker? I hardly know her. We transform the Necronomicurs. We cannot. Even if you could, it would turn into a different curse. Actually, do I remember correctly? I think originally... The way the Necronomic Curse is programmed is that if it ever gets removed from your hand or your deck, it immediately adds itself back in. So when the Necronomicon was originally added, you could target the Necronomic Curse as a removal from your deck, but it would immediately add itself back when you tried. So I think, I bet there was a time when you could transform Necronomicurse, and what that would do is give you a different curse, and then also give you Necronomicurse back. So you would have two curses. Now it's simply not a target. Probably because the devs realized that it was kind of a jerk move to let you target it, and then just have it screw you over. But I think of an energy, a relic that says lose two energy, start of your turn, but your cards all cost one less. So that would disincentivize you from using high cost cards. Like two and three costs, but would be amazing for. It would be terrible for zero cost cards. Huh. I don't know. I think I think that would be really interesting. It's a really transformative relic. Like it's kinda like Sneko Eye in a way. We don't have a consume. I don't see that inserter being great. We're already struggling to evoke our orbs. Let's take the astrolabe. Do it up. What do we don't like here? We still want some attacks in the deck, so I'm gonna transform two strikes and one defend, I think. Two strikes and one defend. Maybe dual cast. But we have dark orbs. Ooh, that is definitely an upgrade. We got two attacks. Go for the eyes. The enemy intends to attack. Apply two weak. Rip and tear. Deal nine. Well, it's gonna be way more than nine. Deal a bunch of damage to random enemy twice. Or reboot plus. Shuffle all your cards into your draw pile. Draw six cards. Lots of card draw. Lots of cheap card draw. Particularly notable that Scrape draws Reboot effortlessly. We have Wing Boots, so let's consider what path lets us fight the most elites here. We can do one, two, three, four, five elites with three Wing Boots charges. Is that insane? Jump once, jump twice, jump thrice. Get a shop. We get almost no fires. 
We have a regen potion, so we're gonna be fine. Let's get ten relics, everybody. That's a lot of relics. just wins the fight, but I take two damage. It's unacceptable. <laughs> it was not fine. It's all actually terrible. I'm gonna play fishing here, because I think it's hilarious. I was right. That was amazing. Four cards! Now we can play Hyper Beam! E nerds. Third go for the eyes? Actually, Compile Driver's nuts here. Take another one of those. We are easily drawing three or four cards off Compile Driver quite consistently. Thanks to Chaos and uh, Rainbow. Easily. You hear me? No, right? No. Get another relic? From a boss fight? We have even more relics? It took a lot of practice to get this far, Jesse, and I, and I, I hope that it shows um, just how difficult this game is, that when I try to mess around on Ascension 15, I do get killed with some regularity. But I hope it's also inspiring. There's a lot of core principles to Slay the Spire that I'm hoping shine through in my, my meme runs. Let's take the... oh, we have blue candle. That doesn't actually help that much against the normalities. They fix the bug, so if I draw into them, it's disastrous. Run is all in on the mad cash. That would require me to change my routing, right? We could go here. We have to skip an elite if I do that. I don't want to skip elites. Not doing it. I refuse. Principle. Or what principle, I'm not really sure. I do refuse. I can get to two sorts of five leads. Go what? One, two, three. What? Jump once, jump twice, jump thrice. Only got one story. You only get one store. Sixteen stores in Act Four. Okay, well, you know. Technically correct is the best kind of correct, right? I can pile again. Get on, Guardian. Nice <laughs> double buffer on the bottom of the deck, as they should be. As they should be. Got him. This 
deck is beautiful. It is a random Act 1 boss, I only led, bro. Doesn't necessarily be... doesn't necessarily have to be, but can be, the boss that you did fight in Act 1. So the, also the important consideration here, an uh, important note regarding the 990 gold thing, we're not just comparing how many, how much money do you get from, or how many relics do you get from 990 gold, we're comparing 999 gold to minus one elite plus minus one rare relic plus minus 100 gold, so it's 899 gold versus three relics. That is the comparison. And there's still the two curses in there. And it looks a lot less... it's still like... it's probably still a little bit in favor of the 9 having gold, right? But not nearly as much. Not nearly as much. Do I just... I just win this with double Hyper Beam. I can even leave with Pendib on like 8 or 9. Yeah. Emotion ship. Oh yeah, we did it. We figured out a use for the blue candle. If we lose hit points during the previous turn, trigger the passive ability of all orbs. The start of your turn. And I will take a charge battery plus. Why thank you. Why thank you. I will also lose. Ooh. Hmm. But I like these cards. Get later claw. Hmm. That face. Alright, do we take Streamline just because we have Necronomicon? Probably, right? It's also 23 gold. We don't have enough money for the Chemex Transmutation. This is the worst day. <laughs> what happened? I was promised. What is Streamline gonna do? Proc Shuriken Kunai. Mainly. It's two attacks in one card. That's what it's gonna do. That's all it has to do. It also does 15 damage twice, which is pretty good. It's not great. Do it. But the heat sink- we have Mummified Hand, right? Heat sinks is actually okay. How many powers do I have? One? Two, oh, I have two- yeah, I have a lot of powers, actually. I'm in. Do I take Amplify for the same reason? Sort by type? You know, that would be, like, smart. Or something. Yeah, we had five powers before I bought the heat sinks. Hologram seems really good. Moving a... What I remove? God. Don't put the meta over. There we go. I can remove strike. I can remove defend. Actually, I do want to remove defend. Badly. It'll it will cost reduce twice. Yep. So it goes down to zero cost after I play it twice. Yeah, the double hyper beam will probably not get played in the boss fight. I'm really that guy, but that's okay. It is okay to have cards that you don't play in certain fights. Inspire. As long as they're really good in the fights that they are good in, like right here and right now, the double hyper beam is incredible. For example. And so it's totally okay to have a card that does that in one fight and nothing in the next fight. I totally removed Strike, didn't I? Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Got me. This could be Recycle, but it might not be. Could be Fusion, too, actually. You know what? Sure. I'm in. We got two Compile Drivers. K 
Chaos Vision. Hologram it. Oh, I do want to hologram it because I drew a uh, compile driver. Okay, I'm going to play the Necronomicers. We take one damage so that a motion ship is active for next turn. Gives me three block and uh, a little bit more on this Dark Orb here. Double Hyper Beam is probably about to happen. I can't think of a good reason not to have it happen. So we buffer Hyper Beam twice and then play Chill. I think. Chill now, the Dark Orb's just gonna hit a dude bro. Alright, so we have no focus, and that's okay. Reptomancer has no health. So it's a win-win. For us. We're winning. Bam. Yeah, we're winning. In relative terms. Oh, we just shut off the Necronomicon on the streamline by making it zero cost. Whoops. That's a whoopsie doopsie. But it'll be okay. Probably. However, it's not drawing me anything useful. Let's reboot. Two. A ton of damage. And even more damage. I approve! Perfect fight, even though we lost literally all of our focus on, like, turn two. Because it did so much damage. Gremlin Horn! When an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. Lantern. Extra energy on turn one. Could take another Sweeping Beam. Now that I've gotten rid of my strikes. I'd like to do that, actually. Alright, lead number two of five. Let's go. Okay, this, this is a fight where I don't play double Hyper Beam on turn one. That's not a good idea. Please don't do that. Could have dual casted before I uh, played chill there. Lost out on eight damage. Strimmer is terrible. Stands game. What fortuitously drawn buffer? Approved. I'll first. Yes. Would like to hologram, go for the eyes. We'll get ourselves a Rockerino. Game. to make a rainbow free. Might as well. Play twice. Third of the pawn, sir. Up additional pylons. How clean do we even want the spire? I want it to look like I've been playing Dust Force in here. Everything's gone. Yeah, we're not doing Necronomicon things because we have buffer in play still. I could get rid of the buffer to trigger the uh, emotion chip, but that seems excessive. Just seems unnecessary. Skills in all sorts of weird ways. I like it. 
Got my kunai shuriken. Non now, now we play it. Orbs. Juzu bracelet. Normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms, which we're like going to none more of. Omomori to negate our next two curses. Equilibrium if we want to hold, have retain in this deck, which we probably do. This is a huge deck. 37 cards. That's a lot of cards. That's maybe too many cards. Maybe we don't want more cards. That seems fair. You know what? Get out of here, regen potion. Attack potion says, proc my relics. Five restarts? What? What necessitated that, BB Tech? That is a lot of restarting. An almost unnecessary amount. Okay, I play all the powers on turn one. Works for me. What do I mean when I say we don't want more cards? The more cards we add to the deck, the harder it becomes to draw the ones we have. So if I add like if I add some more cards to the deck, then it means on average it'll take longer to draw buffers, it'll take longer for us to draw um, capacitor. It'll take longer for us to get our orbs in play. Every card we add is a, is a reduction in our consistency. Omori does block the curse from Necronomicon, but only if you get it first. It is the only way to prevent the Necronomicurse from happening. Only way. Oh god, and I have <laughs> I have the freaking the Gremlin Horn here. Oh, this is gonna be a silly turn. This is gonna be a very silly turn. So what I want now is Beam Cell. If I drop Beam Cell, I'm just going to... I'm Actually, I'm just going to double Hyper Beam here. Why the heck not? Look at that damage. Look at it! It's beautiful! Easy game. Turn 2 Repto Kill. Now we have cheaper card removals at the Merchant. Stone Calendar comes in to deal 52 damage to all enemies on turn 7, and we can add either a Storm or a Glacier to this deck, if we want. I think we want a Glacier. Those Orb Slots are having a little bit of trouble filling up. That's an actual good card. Storm is kind of neat, too. We have a lot of powers. It would generate quite a few Lightning Orbs in the opening turns. We have Mumblefied Hand. Are we fighting a Wicked One? No, we're fighting uh, Doni Decca. There is basically no downside to this storm, other than the fact that it makes our turn one hand a little cramped. The deck does not want a Glacier. I'll let you know when I find out. We are, this is our last Wing Boots charge? Yes. Bottle Tornado. We could have had three guaranteed powers in the opening hand. Tragic. Uh, so Giant Head says every time we play a physical attack, or every time we play a card, it takes 10% more damage from physical attacks for the rest of the turn. This is a really good one. I should have triggered the thingy. The thingy. Yeah, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Should have done the thingy. Um, so what is that a compiled right? Nope, I'm not. I'm gonna misclick with the Crack pad. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, I'm down. I am down. Tiny giant head. Our 
sounds like chill. So, reboot. DP. Fuck, zero cost attack. Aww. Four stacks of buffer. We have all the time in the world to beat Giant Head, huh? All the time in the world. All the time in the world. I, the ideal ordering is weird here, by the way. If I play the attacks first, I get better value out of the kunai. If I play the attacks last, I get better value out of the slow. So it's strange. How's it going, Sir Van Buren? Hello, hello. Um, I don't know, chaos? These great hits, anyway. To me. Boop. Boop. This hit, the dreaded double hyper beam against giant head. Actually is lethal, right? It is. Easy peasy. Art of War! If we don't play any attacks during our turn, gain an extra energy on the following turn. Cool headed plus, I'm super taking, just because it has card draw on it. The exception to the, um, not sure if we want to add more cards to the deck thing is anything that draws cards, more than one specifically, is actually pretty dang good when you have uh, a lot of cards to get through. Creative AI Plus. That sounds fun. That sounds really fun. That sounds really fun. We're gonna remove a defend with our smiling mask. We're gonna probably buy that creative AI. Oh yeah, we have we have heat sinks too. Yeah, let's take that. <laughs> Just snap pick that. Yonk. Alright, we got two more relics. We're gonna scroll the relic bar over on this run. I like it. Ah. This looks like it should be a uh, blue candle moment. Give me an extra energy this turn and three more block. Yeah, accept this. Maybe I'm doing it again. Do it again. All the fun stuff in one place. Yeah, it's the perfect kind of deck. My kind of deck. Literally just everything that seems like it's fun. Oh, uh, we definitely want to get a rocker right like, do you have a double hologram? Or a double hyper beam, if I want to. Play more at. Uh. Yeah. Focus is nice to have, I guess. Unlike Buffer. Overrated. Leaving me all alone. With the fire trucks, I no longer live next to a fire station as of two days ago, and it's glorious to not hear them constantly 
or have them interrupting the stream constantly. That's why I put it in the title. Just expressing excitement about the move. Probably better to place you two separate attacks there. But I didn't want it. If we can get a quad draw. Nope. How far a move was it? Um about 30 miles away. Not too far. Like still within driving distance of everybody that I know. IRL. <laughs> Not a true gamer when you know people IRL. We wanted to send her a long time ago because of Necronomicon. I think it's, it's past its prime. We take our claw back. Just, just on a principle. This run started with a claw and it will end with a claw. And 40 cards. <laughs> Holy crap, that's so many cards. Stack would have been so good, right? <laughs> to honor the claw. It's an obligation. Obligation. Double plasma orb, what does it mean? Ooh, that worked out really well. Calculated block. Although I actually wanted... To... I should have played that differently so that I could take the one damage and then we could trigger, um, emotion chip. Man, this looks weird. <laughs> should have gone for emotion chip value. Uh, Suboptimal to full block is where we're at right now. Suboptimal to full block. What a world. So I want to play this. Let's take one. I have eight energy? Oh yeah, because I doubled up these plasma orbs. <laughs> like, what? Where did that come from? Yeah, motion chip only triggers up to once per turn. No matter how many times you take damage, it's only once. So we only ever want to take one damage in a turn. Alas. Love the line of thinking though. Like if it if it if it worked per uh per time you took damage, we could do some really fun things. But sadly, it does not work that way. I almost hit end turn there by accident. That would have been terrifying. Just draw cards, lol. Toxic Egg. <laughs> On floor 47. Toxic Egg. Okay, any future skills are going to be upgraded. Blood Vial will heal us too at the start of each combat. This is an upgraded leap. I think we can, uh... I think we can manage without... Why not plug a mouse into my laptop? That sounds... Like cheating to me. I play this game on the hardest difficulty. I'm gonna play my laptop on the hardest difficulty. Thank you. <laughs> Mayhem Plus? Oh, that's gonna definitely get added to the deck. What else do we want from here? Jack of all trades, add two random colors cards to your hand. Maybe? Magnetism is. Yeah, Magnetism and Mayhem are both happening. Let's go. 
Rare, colorless powers. And then we could take Panacea to gain two artifacts to do... Oh, for free Hyper Beams. Sure, yeah, that's good enough logic. I just want to take these colorless cards for fun. Don't need them to actually be good. Powers! I get Art of War if I don't play. damage anyway, so these orbs are getting double. I'm gonna take the Mind Blast. It would be a lot of damage, right? I could set up Pendive Mind Blast to, like, deal with the elites. I dig that. I dig that. Pendive coming up, so I wanted to do Claw first. Take a little bit of damage, get our orbs doubled again. And just play powers, lol. Game. Don't have a free hyper beam yet, so I probably don't want to play that. But it is being actively considered. We just play the top part of the deck at the start of every turn, which could be dangerous. Order, by the way. Beam so Buffer can make this card free. Nope, it's chill. Fair enough. Team times two, we got it covered. Game. <laughs> I auto played the scrape. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a really strong fission, so I'm probably playing that. Oh, I got reboot too. Oh my god, I have so many cards. How do I do this? I want to play the ones that don't look like hands. Whatever. I want to be able to draw more with Fission here. Okay, doubled pen-nibbed Hyper Beam? I'm doing. We don't get the full value, like, we don't- and I have the artifact, actually, so this is even free. Sweet. Oh, I had a buffer. Whoops! I totally just... donked myself on that one. Whoopsie-doopsie. My bad. Play that again. Alright, top card of the deck is Sweeping Beam! Clean the Spire. Oop. This deck does so much. There's so many relics. It does whatever the heck it wants at all times. Nib is at one. Just play attacks, lol. GG. Do new in Decca. Two thump, two thump. Is this the heart of the spire? Charge your relics to their maximum. 
Healing 1847. Good year. Alright, we can get 10 hit points or we can upgrade one card in this deck. Is there any one card that could possibly be worth upgrading here? Or Looper, maybe? Not really. Hologram? There's a few. I can't imagine I'm going to draw a hologram twice in the heart fight. We have 43 cards. <laughs> Although I do draw a ton of cards. The loop prevent mayhem from taking our buffers. Oh, on uh, um, the heart fight? Ooh, good question. Yeah, that's terrifying, right? Let's beat it. If we play Mayhem against the Heart Beat of Death, we'll cause Mayhem to take our buffers away. Interesting. Get loop upgraded. Can buy another capacitor if we want one. Which means our Dark Orbs will never evoke, ever. Or we can take a Barrage. But 4 damage for each channeled orb. And that's like super damage scaling for the Heart Fight. Do that. Take a Barrage. Get out of here, dual cast. You don't trigger our relics. Therefore, you are bad. Definitely how this works. quite the turn one. I get to play a lot of powers, and then I get to draw a lot of cards. I'm down. I got Mummified Hand. Three after all. Okay, uh, I want to also play Magnetism, because of powers. But I'd like to also block Spire Shiva. Only hand might as well, right? No! Tragedy has struck. And I'm one damage short of, uh. I guess this is my attack version then. Get a free Hyper Beam. For, uh, yeah, we're gonna compile it. Turn around so we don't lose our buffer to you. <laughs> Played fission. Okay, okay. I accept. I accept. I think Rip and Tear looks really good here. So I think that's our opener. What else can we do? We can hologram the Hyper Beam and play it twice and just win, actually. That's even better than playing Rip and Tear. Figure you got him. So, further justification for Hyper Beam being in the deck right there. Strawberry. 7 max health, bringing us over 100. Ancient Potion to block Vulnerable against the heart. Bronze scales. Do more damage to the heart. And... I'll take another compiler. Card draw, dot down. Bring it on, Mr. Heart. Ooh, this turn is kind of crappy, though. Hmm. Scrape first, see what we draw. Probably nothing. Not nothing. And the gamblers. Oh, 
not what I wanted. I'm going to play this just to get so that I can A, reboot, and so B, that my orbs trigger again next turn. Because it looks like we're going to Fun Town now. Now going to Fun Town. Population us. Get another Kunai proc this turn if I double up that streamline. Yeah, remember the potion this time, thank you. <laughs> Use that now. Before I forget. So I can double streamline hologram. Or I can do like swooping gear and charge battery. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, let's double up on that. Okay, we got two points of strength, two points of dex, pen nibs ready, pretty of AI is in play. Frost orb first. All good. Echo form. I mean, probably. Seems pretty good, right? And they even made slimed free? My god. Again? <laughs> it's actually, it's still good to use, because it'll make two things free. It gets played twice. The Double Echo Form. Makes both compile drivers free? What? Rude. The next two cards I play are also getting doubled. Let's double compile first. Oh nice, we can double chill now. Probably want to double steam barrier instead. There we go. Yeah, sure. Fine. Fine. Good points for a reason. Here's where we can really start to scale like crazy. Because the first three powers we play get doubled, or per first three cards we play get doubled. We can do double loop, double machine learning, double buffer plus, and then still play everything in the hand. Crazy town. I get to double capacitor. Oh wait, then I make maybe can't double rainbow because we do the void. Well, maybe capacitor will make rainbow free. That would be nice. We're gonna lose all of our buffers. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so we made rainbow free. Double rainbow all the way across the sky. What does it mean? What does it mean? Does it mean? Could probably play heat sinks. I don't think I need to play it twice. That seems excessive, right? That seems excessive. I want to draw here. I don't want to play mayhem twice next turn because that'd be hilarious. Not because it would be good. But it would be really funny. If I play this, I draw three cards, and I probably lose the mayhem. Thirty-three block. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna double mayhem. To the start of our turn, we play the top two cards of our drop pile twice each. 
thanks to Echo Form. This is gonna get stupid. Very stupid. Um, we can Hyper Beam twice, if we, uh, triple Hyper Beam, actually, if we want to. That would lose focus. So maybe I don't want to triple Hyper Beam. If AI is free, we can double it up. I mean, okay. And then obviously double magnetism. That, that seems like a fair and balanced turn, right? Yeah, this is totally normal. What's happening on screen right now? <laughs> This is definitely what's supposed to be happening. <laughs> okay. Obviously, now that we're using our Echo Form charges on... Mayhem. We need more Echo Form charges, so let's get those in play. Obviously. And we should definitely double play Chrysalis here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> two chills, chaos, two visions. I see that right? Mind Blast is free, and Pen Nibbed. Got it. Why do I end up with so many Frost Orbs? I guess I did double Glacier, right? <laughs> oh hey, I'm taking a- oh wait. <laughs> or am I? Also, ow, it's a beat of death. Ow, my face. Oh my. How much damage is that? 19 times... 18. Is barrage twice. That's like 300 plus damage, right? How much is that? <laughs> It's definitely instantly lethal, but I want to know exactly how much damage it is. So that is 19 damage times 18 orbs. That is 342 damage if I play Barrage. What? <laughs> That's a lot of damage. But I want to play Storm instead. Magnetism for the win, GG. E freaking G. What a monstrosity of a deck. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a great description of what just happened. A monstrosity. Relics.defects.deck. Just play all your cards, lol. Easy time, every time. And finally unlock Defect Beta Card Art. Oh, alrighty then. Now what? Has it been done? Spire sleeps and... So shall I... Unfortunately, I shall. I'm gonna call things off a little early today. We've been live for four and a half hours. Streaming on laptop without a comfortable desk is tough. But I also have a whole bunch of life stuff that I'd like to get done this evening, which is part of the reason for the early stream today. 
so I am unfortunately going to part wings with all of you, but I want to say thank you so much for joining me, everybody. It's been incredible having you all here, hanging out with me, playing Ascension 15 Laptop Spire. Is there anybody online? Oh my god, there's so many people online. Who do we want to who step today? Oh, you know who's streaming right now? Mini Minotaur is streaming right now, doing some Ascension 20 Spire runs. Friend of the channel. Friend of the Sneaky Teak channel as well. Just show them some love. Oh god, how do you spell this? Your name? <laughs> Paste it because I'm bad at spelling. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, here's where you're all headed. Twitch.tv slash mini minotaur. Show you some bailers in chat. And say hello for me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have an awesome night. We will be back tomorrow for some frivolous. Friday action. Probably still from laptop. Um, but we'll be doing... I'm planning on doing some uh, Hubris and Conspire Relic Pack runs for funsies. So, if you've enjoyed the previous two days of streams, I'm sure tomorrow will be right up your alley. We get to play with some new relics and all that. And, yeah. See you all then. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.